All right, everyone. Are you guys ready for what you're about to see in moments? Because I sure did not expect this. What am I talking about? Let's go take a look. Go take a look here. Now you notice something here. You notice something here. Looks a little bit weird. Looks like what we've seen yesterday. Well, first of all, welcome in everyone. Welcome in Wen. Welcome in Lamb. Good to see you here. Like, like usual. Yes, indeed, Lamb. Bad battery. Yes, could not keep a save. So I put a sticky right there. So here's the. This is item number four to take over to my my local uh, repair shop. Hopefully they can be able to do uh, battery replacements. So in so so yeah. So that's the bad news. The good news is we'll be playing Secret of Evermore on emulator. Although even though technically this is the second stream, this is really the first stream. <laughs> It's like the second verse, but just like the first. <laughs> and uh, I'm using SNES 9X, and it'll be for the very first time I'm actually legit using... Uh, well, actually, no, technically it isn't, because I tried a bunch of emulators, a bunch of S SNES emulators, like, way, way, way back in the day. But this is the one where I'm using the latest version. So I feel like we can get some progression done here. Um, First of all, first of all, we got to test out the sound because it sounds going to be going through desktop audio. It's, it doesn't have its own uh, audio source. <clears throat> yeah, no. Reddit keeps showing, showing you NES cards with exploded batteries. I don't know about exploded batteries. I'm not sure about that. Um, I don't know. It's kind of... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, so, so far, so far, so good on my end. Uh, no worries. When we, we, it, it was just like one, uh, how many, what is it? Like three hours worth of uh, decent progression. Yep. Uh, yeah. Pr push F for respect. There you go. Hey there, Captain. Welcome in. Welcome in. A pleasant evening to you pleasant well it's tuesday here my time so yeah i'll say it's pleasant tuesday evening okay so um i didn't I, so i got everything else except for checking the sound i got my eye buffalo controller here uh, set it has uh, uh, the orientation of an snes controller even though you can't tell but there are side buttons right here so i got l and r right there on the sides i know you can't tell but trust me i got my a b x and y buttons select and start there and i got the direction pad so we're all good here um but since the audio is going to be piping through to desktop and i have desktop audio cranked up to the max let's see if we get the snes 9x emulator folk on focus um so just warning you guys, so I'm gonna, it may be a bit on the loud side. Okay, this doesn't sound too bad. I mean, we can turn it down just a little bit. Let me go on to uh, sound and, um, is there a way to change the volume? Uh, yeah, so maybe we'll do the volume down to like how, how does 90%? How's 90%? Okay, so maybe, maybe, uh, maybe 10 more that I'm adjusting here. So I'll just go down to 80%. 80% volume. Okay, we'll work with this. We'll work with this. I think this is the, the highest that I will allow the volume. And uh, we're going to get started in a little bit here. Just for a sync, uh, sync up with all you guys here. Oh, you got Silkworm in today? Oh, nice. Nice, Lamb. You had to take it back to the bad corrosion on the contacts. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's another thing, too. I may have a cart or two where no matter how, how much Q-tip and alcohol I uh, do on them, they... It, it's it's like a hit or miss um yeah I, I i know i have a few carts which are like that specifically nes carts 
All right. Well, I hope, well, Lamb, hope you get your copy um, quickly. I hope so. I hope so. Hope so. Hope so. All right. I'm assuming the vi. You know, maybe I'll just turn it down just a little tad bit more. It'll go down to 70%. So go to settings. You guys probably see my mouse. I see my mouse. You guys see my mouse here? Ooh, -hoo -hoo. Do, -do, do 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 Okay, I'm having again. Okay, whatever. I'm having. I'm having way, way, way too much fun than I really should. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway. Anyway. So, what are we? Tribe? Is that our um, character's name here? Oh, we. No, we did. Ah. Okay. I was pressing the wrong button here. Okay. Okay. Tribe. That is our name. Tribe is our game. Okay. Alright, so we're, we've already done the story here. We'll just let it play out. Oh, maybe I should turn turn down the volume a bit. Maybe, maybe I should, maybe 10 more percent. So hold on, let me um, go ahead and uh, just change this up probably for the last time here. Yeah, I was a bit on the loud side. Okay, that's better. Now I gotta turn down the audio going to my headphones here. Just slightly. Okay. Okay. Ha! <laughs> you love Padunk? Is this game about you? Pro oh, uh, I, I, I guess so. <laughs> if you say so, one. <laughs> you haven't played Silkworm, but 1990 is, is late for a game like that. It's really good, right? Yeah, Soulcorm ha has been on my on my wish list as well. Many many games. You guys, you guys talk about lots of really great games. Some I have already in my library, and a good number of others I don't. Okay, so we're not going to fast forward here. We'll just we'll just mash through all this. We'll get. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the get to the meat and potatoes, so to speak, of the gameplay. And those of you who are vegetarian, well, um, what would be the equivalent? We'll get to the tofu. <laughs> kitty, go chase the kitty. Chase kitty. Chase kitty. Chase kitty. Ring you, Thomas. Hey there, Thomas. Welcome in. Welcome in. Good to see you here. We're playing Secret of Evermore. This is a game that you've were, been expecting us to play. And for those of you just just coming here um, uh, who may, may have not been in yesterday's stream, we actually legit started uh, the game on a cart, but the cart... I put the sticky note in there. Uh, the, the cart's uh, battery uh, probably is dead and uh, didn't... Uh, I wasn't able to load load a save. I actually tried loading a save from the game uh, early in the morning before uh, leaving for my nine to five job, and then I was like, I saw that. Wait, I got to the screen where I have to enter my name, and I'm like, oh boy, oh boy. All right. Well, at least it's one stream's worth that we'll be redoing here, and going forward, uh, we should be smooth sailing. Uh, as far as for uh, playing Secret of Evermore via emulator. And the emulator we're using here is called SNES 9X. Either play as a Jeep or a helicopter. It's pretty neat. Able to get it to work and play a little bit. Can I get it to work consistently? Oh, interesting. So, I mean... It's cool, Lamb, that like, like it seems like it's 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 like success that you can be able to at least play the game for a good long while until the corrosion just starts being a factor. <laughs> so good, you had to do it twice. I, I, indeed, indeed. How far did we get, Thomas? Uh, we completed the Fire Eyes quest. Uh, we we uh, destroyed the big ant or whatever with its. We had to just had it open its ribs and destroy its heart. We got the spider's claw, which is really an axe or something. Thrax. Yeah, you got it, Thomas. Thomas, you know this game. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, we fought Thrax. Yeah, that, that, that was the furthest we went. So 
So I'm just mashing through the cutscenes here because this is stuff that we've seen before. Or uh, now we're actually going to be fighting here. So, all right. So we're going to pick up uh, whatever, a bone or whatever. Oh, pressing the wrong button there. Oh, it's the bazooka. Never mind. Cool. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Did we get him from a distance? Yeah, we did. How long has it been since I played this game? Oh, um... I actually never beat it before. This is, this is gonna be my first time through. Uh, last time I played it really before before yesterday was uh, just a, a quick a quick test playthrough. I recently picked up this game, like I don't know how long it was ago. Maybe about uh, maybe six months ago, I picked up the game. So the answer to your question is never, never beat the game, never. And I. I, I don't think I've ever played it even way back in the day. And we've got gourds here to open and our doggy that we're gonna we, we had a name from we called him Ragnarok, so that's what we're gonna be calling him here for, for, for this uh, for this entire playthrough. So it's the story of Tribe and Ragnarok. Calling him Ragnarok, um, uh, yeah, and, uh, and he's gonna be named after the awesome airship from Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, that's a wolf? Rag? Okay. <laughs> aren't dogs and wolves the same? Are they? Are they? they they're both canines, aren't they? I mean, from a distance, they are, they, they look the same. Or okay, well, me, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go grab a pedal here. Hey, hey, hey! You don't be doing that to my boy. Don't be doing that to my puppy. Don't be doing that there. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Um. That's right. We can control how our folks act here. I think. I think this is good this way. I. I mean, I guess. Raggy? Sure. Sure, Raggy. I'd be thinking the Scooby-Doo voice. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about the Scooby-Doo voice. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I can make the connection because I did watch uh, a lot of Scooby-Doo uh, back when I was a kid. But no, I, it, 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 the connection, it, 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 just, it, it, it just doesn't happen with me personally. But yeah, we'll call him Raggy. Yeah, definitely. On Raggy, sniff, sniff out the places and stuff. Look for stuff for us, please. Okay. That's right. That's right. Oh, I gotta work on the the emulator screen because it's. I'm overlapping the screen with the with the capture you guys are seeing, and it's confusing me a little bit. That's okay. I think we have to go up here. Oh, hey, hey. Freaking freak. Freaking flower. Freaking mosquito. Hey. Hey. Take that. Take that. <laughs> I like that sound. That's, 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 that's a... That's a funny say what? Did not even see him there. That's cloaked in uh in shadow. So I guess we get all the all the gourds here. These are gonna be items um for our magic spells. Items required for our magic spells. Fifteen talons are currency here. This is always so much fun playing with a friend. Oh, can can, oh, oh, can, can uh, a second player control the uh, control uh, the doggy here? Nice. 
Interesting. Okay, cool. Cool stuff. And, and you don't get in, in any more than just these two, right, Thomas? It's not like like in, in Secret of Mana where you can have um, three. He's, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm just, th just those two, Thomas? Okay, sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. Bending the 72 pins work made it like new. Yeah, when you were talking about that like eons ago with me and like I, I so far haven't I haven't done any anything like that. I mean I don't think my Famicoms need that treatment, but my front loader definitely does, I feel. Oh yeah, this one yeah, we can't go through there without the axe. Oh yeah, this is where... Oh, what, what, what is this one? Uh, this is where we fight the raptors. Okay, we have one pedal. You know, somehow... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what I feel? I feel like we're, we're missing a nectar. We need to get a nectar. So Hold on, let me... Uh, Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna go pause the sound just a little bit. Okay. Um, I swear there was like a, like another set of pedals and a nectar somewhere, and I think I, I, I reset all the all the all the encounters here. I, uh, isn't there a an, another uh, freaking um, gourd or something that we missed? Did we miss a gourd? I guess not, actually. Okay. All right, Thomas. I right, do your thing. Take the dog out. Take the doggy out. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and use a pedal here. Use it on tribe. Okay. And we're also then going to change our actions. We're going to make... Whoops. What the heck? Make everyone active here. Okay. All right, let's give it, let's give it a shot here. Oh darn. Punk? Punk Raptor? Oh, what the heck? Hey, don't be hurting my doggy. What the freaking heck? Oh, doggy is asleep. Are we, are we, are we going to like slowly do this thing? We did it! Oh my good... No, 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 we didn't. I thought we did. Oh, there's multiple of these guys. I see, there's multiple of these guys. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, 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 hey. You, you... Ah, man, the, the, this guy was really, really aggressive there. All right. Okay, so we did no better than we did yesterday. Did no better than we did yesterday here. Sure, let's save our game, sure. Sure. Save our game. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, feel free to take items from the gourds in this village. We know that you'll return the favor. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so the way to save in SNES 9X is that we have to, if, if we want to save at the very first save slot, we have to hold Shift and F1. So on, in my keyboard, 
the F1 keys, the function keys, are, they don't act like function keys, but they act like media keys. So in order to make the function keys act like function keys instead of media keys where, as they default behave, I have to hold the function key, the bottom of the keyboard. So I'm going to hold function, shift, and F1. There. Okay. So. We can save a couple of ways. You can either save internally, just like on a legit console, or we can save via emulator. So I'd say let's let's we'll we'll, we'll test this out later on, especially like um, uh, towards the end of the stream. Afterwards, I'll test to see if if I can be able to to uh, load. Um, Load from the cartridge battery, the, the the emulated virtual battery save. And if that works, then there'll be no need to uh, use uh, emulator save. I right, found two roots. What'd you find there, buddy? Find there, buddy. Okay, we found some stuff here. Okay, so we saved. Okay, so what are we going to be doing next here? What are we going to be doing next here? We have to talk to a bunch of people and um, then we'll be looking for a strong heart. And um, how are we doing? Oh, well, lost focus there. Okay. So I got to remember that I can't click on anything or else the, the emulator will, uh, will stop freeze okay so let's check our check our stats here let's see how uh, we're doing with uh, talons we only have 63 talents I don't think we'd be able to make any good purchases with 63 talents I don't think so so what we'll do instead is just start uh, talking to people See what our our our, our dog here, uh, what he sniffs, what rag rag sniffs here. You'll find alchemy ingredients in plenty. Should search the village outskirts. Yeah, already know all that. Already know all that. Okay. Go to people's uh, houses and get some. Get some stuff from their gourds and who knows what else. And I don't know if it's required that we actually talk with people, like legit talk with people. I mean, only we only have to talk with uh, Fire Eyes to progress the story. But yeah, Grass Vest. Someone will give us a grass vest, I believe, like either right away or um, not too long from now. So, okay. okay. Anything, anything else there, puppy? No. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. And then here's a bunch of gourds here. Let's go take stuff here. Clay, a biscuit for our good doggy. Biscuit for our doggy. Okay, now let's continue on here. I believe there is a, ha a house where somebody will give us something, like legit for free. I don't know where it is. I think someone will indeed do that. Hello, traveler. Source for goods in this village. Okay, so they... S oh, here's the other thing. This is what I was trying to find. Uh, at one point yesterday, I was trying to look for this shop here. Okay, so anyway, we don't need anything here, so we'll make our way out. And this, uh, what is this here? More gourds. Okay. 
Alright. Well, I think somebody here does give us something for free. Okay, that is where... That's where the... That's where Fire Eyes is at. Okay, so we're gonna go there in a little bit. Clay, petals, water, and water. Okay, they give us something at some point. I mean, someone here gives us something, and I'm trying to... Trying to find where that place is at. Yeah, maybe we need to talk with... Oh, I think I know. I think we have to talk with uh, Fire Eyes first before... Um, before we can go anywhere. Okay. We'll go do some story progression right here. Maybe that we had to talk with Fire Eyes before we can get a free, a free uh, grass vest. Okay, so she's uh, asking us what our what our doggo's name, and of course it is Ragnarok. Whoop! No, that doesn't look right. <laughs> This one and where's the king? There we are. Okay, here we are. Ragnarok. She's also from Padunk. She tells us that she's from Padunk. So she teaches us the first spell called Flash, which is, uh, if I recall, this is actually a pretty dang good spell to use. A pretty dang good one. Maggie here has two biscuits. Two biscuits. Did you find anything there, puppy? Anything? Anything? No? Oh, found something there. Nice lizard. She knows how to sit, stay, shake hands, and roll over. Nice. I don't think I ever... I don't think I ever asked. I think I ever got that. Uh, okay. So somewhere here we get a f someone here gives us a free grass fest. I I don't remember who that was, but I know it's somewhere. I know it's somewhere in this village. It I, I, it has to be somewhere here in this village right here. I don't remember that somebody gives us a, a vest. Okay. Okay, well, um, I think we did get a few more items, but it's still not enough to buy anything. Uh, can I control the dog? Uh, I actually don't know if I can. T t d do I just press X? Oh yeah, R yeah, remind me again, like, like, what do I do here? So, do I go to action and do I press... 
Is it zero? Do I give him zero? Is that how I control the dog? Or is it the... Oh, keep him at one? Okay, it sounds good, sounds good. Okay, okay, we'll keep him at one. Okay. Okay, keep him at one. You forgot. All right, Thomas. Nice. Hey there, Bahamut. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you here. Bahamut, and those of you that who just joined, I know we're just about a half hour in, but um, the, the the battery in the cart here, my cart where, where I put a sticker here on, uh, battery is dead or it just, the, the game just didn't save. So we're, we're going to be uh, starting... Starting off again with Secret of Evermore, but this time we're going to be going from start to finish on an emulator. So, just in case if you guys are wondering. Oh, the select button? Okay. Let's go move everyone to one here, though. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm moving the doggy. I am moving the doggy. Moving the doggy. And select changes that. Okay, cool. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It'll come in, come in handy later in the game. Oh, nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I bet there's going to be a situation where we, we'll have no control over, over, um, over the human. I'm sure that the, there will be such. Oh, there's a gourd right here. And this will take us to a place we can't make progress on at, uh, at until we get the uh, the spider's web or whatever it's called, the axe. It's a money, water, and water. Okay. Okay, so what did we do? originally here I think we were about to I think we started doing a little bit of a grind where we're grinding for money to buy the the grass vest the uh, the leather collar for uh, Ragnarok there and uh, one other thing a bracelet slash gauntlet kind of thing okay and okay let's uh, go down south and let's start grinding it here how's a collar gonna raise your defense well def uh, raise it slightly I mean I mean I mean Ragnarok's uh, neck will be uh, you know slightly more protected I mean that's fair I mean I mean a neck is a is is the part of the body the exposed part of the body Hey, I'll be doing that to my doggo. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Dude. Okay. Buy more of these. Find some more stuff, that would be great also. Hey, hey, hey! 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 Oh, can't go through there until we get the axe. That's okay. Okay. Awesome. Teamwork! Teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. Come on, dog. Yeah, we've been here already. We have definitely been here already. Okay, so how are we doing with... How are we doing with currency here? 125? Uh, I'm not sure if we can afford anything. Maybe there's something for 125? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Let's, um... I don't know what we'll do. Should we, uh... 
Cool! Doggy reached level 2. Way to go. Yay. Yay. Anything else there, doggy? Anything else? Something here as well? Nice! Good doggy! Oh, imagine the size of the flea! <laughs> I know, uh, Thomas, yeah, he sniffs uh, because he's located an item that we can search. If we search uh, the place where he's sniffing, it's, it's a clue that if we search there or just press the action button, we'll find something. Yeah, Thomas, we picked up on that, yeah. So, we're, also, Thomas, just uh, FYI, I, I, we're, we're playing off of the help of a, of a guide. It's not really that spoilery, uh, so, it, so it helped us out there. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to... Need to find out, like, what is it literally that we've done here? Yeah, Tom, so it's not completely blind. No, it's not, it's not completely, like, w without any, any like, external help. I mean, come on, it's an RPG. We only have, we only have, like, what, 12 times 4 hours to play the game, so that's, like, what, just 50 at best? 50 hours? I mean, who knows, we, we, may, we may do a, a bonus Saturday stream. <laughs> I mean, that's not totally ruled out of the picture there. Okay, uh, so we need to go over to the quicksand area and grind it out there for a bit. And we've got to find the exit towards the right. The thing is, though, ah, uh, the, the thing is that I need to... Hold on, I, I, need, I need to... You see, uh, you see my uh, <laughs> uh, mouse pointer there. Okay, all right, that's that's okay. Uh, I'll work with this. I have to figure out uh, starting uh, tomorrow and going forward. I need to position. I need to find find the right area to position the the emulator window because it's it's kind of yeah, kind of kind of messing with me there. Uh, this will take us back to the village, but we need to be making our way towards the right. Which is... Actually, yeah, no, actually, we're not supposed to be here, actually. We're supposed to actually go this way. This is where we're supposed to go. Some people don't like spoils to so keep your mouth shut. No, no, Thomas, if, if you want a backseat, go go right on ahead and do so. I mean, I, I'll allow that. I mean, you know, like, really, the, the, the only challenge I see here is is whether or not that, like, you know, I, I, can, I could get used to the gameplay mechanics here. Because it's, 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 it's pretty much close to Secret of Mana that we played. Uh, a couple of years ago, but with some differences. But also number two, um, um, can I take advantage of the of uh, optimizations, op opportunities to like min max or just be OP? And uh, yesterday, uh, someone reminded me. So yeah, so like yesterday, like a good part of the stream was all about getting myself readjusted to Secret of Mana style gameplay here. And you know the one thing that I completely forgot until like like the last hour of stream was leveling up of spells. I totally forgot that 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 I mean that's a thing that you do in a Secret of Mana like game which Secret of Ever of Evermore is. Totally forgot about that. So the thing is, though, the way we get spell charges, it's by way of, by way of alchemy. So if, if so, if I want to cast a spell, I need to ensure I have, you know, whatever, whatever the parts are required. So that's why all this wax and oil and water and all this stuff that we're getting, those are all about, those are the ingredients needed to cast spells. But the more, just like in Secret of Mana, the more you cast the spell, the much more powerful they become. So, at the rate that we're getting these items, 
it'll take a while to, to level up every single spell, but I feel like maybe we could just focus on like one spell or just a, like a small handful of spells for a good portion of the game. I mean, just for, just for the sake of having like, like a high degree of offense, you know, uh, in contrast to like a more comprehensive tool set of attacks, you know. Cool, our doggy's leveling up and we found a pedal, yay! So I don't know if any of that what I just said made sense, but yeah, that that's... So what we were told about here, I think it was Vince that told us this. Um, Vince says, uh, work on Flash. Don't worry about Cure or... Um, or maybe we should... Uh, maybe Cure should be good. Um, but don't worry about like Acid Rain and um, Hardball. The engine is just exactly like Secret of Mana. And weapons as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, weapons I picked up on. I definitely picked up on that. Which is what the dog goes for. Yeah, indeed, exactly. So so in, in me, I, I, I don't know this, but it may be true that we can just go in and out of a of a screen and 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 uh, Ragnarok here can can help sniff an item for us and find it. So maybe these maybe these items that you find find on the ground are like respawnable or something. I mean, or maybe maybe it's not the case. But now we're gonna fight these uh, tortoise shelled vultures. That's what I called them. Turtle sh oh turtle shell vultures. Yeah. I think that's what I called them there. Wait, why am I hitting with zero? What the freaking heck? Okay, how are we doing here? How are we doing with uh, the monies? 244. They are, you believe, Thomas? Okay, level up crush once we... Okay, okay, I, I don't... I, I, I'm trying to recall if we did get crush. We got like... We got like a half of a list of, of, uh, of spells. Like within the first three and a half ish hours of uh, gameplay. That's pretty dang good. Okay, um, I, th I think we can afford something. Let's go back to town and buy something. No, we didn't get it. Okay, yeah, no, okay. So, so Flash, I mean, we just got Flash right now, but I just, I'm just remembering yesterday. Um, we may have gotten it, but if you say we didn't, then I guess, I guess I'll believe you there. Um, let's go look at our, let's go to our uh, merchant shop. One of these is a merchant shop. I don't know if it's this one. Doesn't, I don't think it was this one. No, it's not this one. Okay. Okay, so the merchant shop's gonna be somewhere up here. Like it's this one right here. Cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, we can buy a grass vest and a grass hat. And we can get a vine bracelet later. Yeah, grass hat and a grass vest, sure. Let's go for it. There we go. Cool stuff. Okay. And let's go to the equip menu, equip the grass vest, and equip the grass hat. Okay, okay. The tribe has a better defense than ever. Now, um, do we have enough money to say? No, we don't, we, oh no, actually no, we, we don't need to go to the end, but we do definitely need to save. So let's go ahead and do that. Let us go save. Yes. Yes. Okay, game save. So now we're gonna do an emulator save. So emulator save is I hold the function key, shift, and F1. Bam. Okay. All right. All right, so we save not once, but twice. Hey, 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 hey. Back here, and uh, let's go. Let's go back and uh, grind it out for a couple of more items. I think we had a collar for 250. 
and a vine bracelet for 180. So that's gonna be a total of what? 430? 430. Um, yeah, uh, 430 talents. Did we ever go here? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, that's right. Okay, we did. Somehow I remember that we got a free grass vest from someone, but yeah, you know, it's it's yeah, not a big deal that we that we bought it here. I mean, at least we'll get a chance to level ourselves up a bit and uh, grind it out. Hey, hey, yeah, that's right. Don't mess with don't mess with Ragnarok. Don't mess with our doggy. Don't be messing with doggy. That's right. Got more of more of these uh, turtle shell turtle shell tortoises. There we go, doggy. Reach the next level. level five all right we we are taking it here okay uh i just want to make sure let me go just stop here for a, a bit here so okay um yeah okay so we gotta ensure that we get enough talents to buy the stuff that we want here this is where further progression is. Yeah, it's not go through here just yet. Just hang out over here. Grind it here with the... with the... turtle-shelled vultures. Nice doggy. There you go, doggy. Good doggy. Good doggy. Good doggy! Such a good doggy. Oh, another one of those. Nice. Okay. And more of these flowers here. Good doggy. Good, good doggy. Oh, you found something? Which is fine, which is fine. Trying to. Go where you're pointing, doggy. Is it right here? Ah, I can't find. <laughs> okay. I was like, where the heck were you sniffing there, Raggy? Where were you sniffing? Okay, 249. Okay, that's. We're uh, one talon away. We're, we're one talon away from the collar. One town away from the collar. Okay. Okay. One town away. Alright. Okay. 
Ah, I don't have the, the axe. Darn, I do not have the axe. Oh, but we can take this guy down, though. There we are. There we are. Okay, okay. Now, we have enough? Yes, we do! Oh, those guys drop like, what is it, 15? 15 talons? That's a lot of talons! That is a lot of talons. Anyway, let's go get the collar. Let's go get that collar for, for Raggy here. Alright, I feel like I, I've seen this... I, I've been in this village long enough to know where... I think they have a good idea where, where everything's at here. At least I think I do. Uh, this one is not it. Yeah, I think we have to go up to the... Northern section here to go to the merchant. I think this is this one right here. Okay, cool. Alright. Leather collar, let's go. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's go equip our doggy here. Let's equip our doggy. Leather collar. Alright. Alright. Way to go. Now let's go save our game. Alright, save is right here. So save our game. Rest for 10 talents. Uh, no. Yes, I do want to save. Cool stuff. Okay, now we're going to do an emulator save. So I'm going to hold the function key, hold the shift key, and press F1. Bam. Alrighties. Yeah, Thomas, we can, but I'm gonna try to keep it true to console uh, style of gameplay. Um, the the emulator uh, side of uh, of saving, we may. I mean, this may be the only stream when we do this uh, throughout the entirety. So I, wanna I just want to confirm to myself that after our stream is over here, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to uh, the power power off the emulator and then power it back on and then uh, see if uh, that that console the 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 real the the, the virtual uh, save uh, uh, save RAM or whatever uh, works and if that works then we'll, we'll we won't be doing emulator save states anymore I mean to me, it doesn't feel right to abuse the game via save states or hacks or speed ups or whatever, unless I beat the game first, right? And 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 especially like F, and, and 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 this especially doesn't make sense because this is the first time we're playing this game and also on stream. So I'd like to at least show to those who want to see actual like like true like original game like 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 or, like original like sitting in front of the console on front of the tv kind of old school style gameplay that this game can be beaten in that style before going on over to doing some some uh trickery that can only be done via emulation okay so we saved and now we got to go back out and then look for the i think we need 180 talents yeah we need to get the the vine uh, bracelet what it's called hey you freaking you 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 you, you freaking flower i do not like those flowers i do not like them flowers okay okay Cool. Doggy reached level five. Doggy reached level five. Your dog is named Flower? Nice, Thomas. Because I, 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 I bet your dog is sweet. Just, just like a scent of a flower. 
Ooh. Grab a pedal. We can only have up to six. We can only have up to six. Oh, she likes to kiss. Oh, <laughs> oh that kind of sweetness. All right, nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Whoa. Hey, hey, dude. Yeah, my, my bone sword or whatever. Um, I had I had the bone sword reach level two and then I tried holding the button and I got a secret of mana like charge up thing going on. I'm like, yeah, I remember this. I remember this. This is pretty cool. Oh, hey, we actually go up here to level one. Yeah, I, I remember that happening. Uh, definitely by the time we make it to Thrax, we should have uh, Bone uh, onto level one here. Bone Crusher, there we go. All right, so we're halfway through there. <laughs> the Femur of Fury, useful for mangling mosquitoes and, and also whacking dumb flowers. Well, I mean of the plant variety, that is. You think they go up to level nine? Oh, just like it is over at uh, Secret of Mana. I mean, I mean, I'd expect that, but I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be terribly disappointed if they didn't. I mean, at least it goes. I mean, if it goes up to at least a few levels, I mean, I'm I'm okay with it. It takes a freaking long time to charge up your weapon up to like level nine or whatever or level ten. It does. I mean, it'd be awesome, like, if, if it caps at level 4, but if level 4 is as, like, like, the strength of your weapon increases up to, like, up to level 10 Secret of Mana, but takes a short amount of time to charge, I'm in for that. I, I would be, I would be very much happy with that. Okay, now anyway, I'm walking around and I, and I, I needed to see something here. I want to see where we're at with the towns. Okay, so we're... Uh, 34 talons away. Okay. 34 talons away. Okay, we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go back in like so. Alright, 34 more talons. Whoop! Wrong button. Let's fight them vultures. Yo, we reached level 6! We reached the level six. Yeah, doggy. Yeah, Ragnarok. You rock, Ragnarok. Oh, there's a thing that fell there. Nice. This old. Oh, nice. They dropped the town right there and. and in midair there. All right, nice. Okay. Oh, let's fight more of these guys. Oh yeah, we, we can just finish up the screen of monsters here, and I think level-wise we are a-okay. We are indeed a-okay. Thomas, do you have any experience with SNES 9X? Is that like your, um, if you play emulator um, and SNES games on emulator, is that your emulator of choice? Or do you use a different one? Have you tried Higgin? I heard SNES 9X and Higgin are pretty good. ZSNES. Oh, you use ZSNES as well? Oh, just like me, yeah. Yeah, it, it, I, I, I find the... I mean, even though the... The interface is so, like, old school... I still like it because it works. It seems to be much more... It seems to be pretty quick. I wanted to try something a, a more modern because I I, I mean I mean I I'm not sure um, how like how accurate it would be like to consoles. I figured I figured since SNES 9X I mean since ZSNES actually I don't think it's been it's been supported um, as recently as this one here. So, 
I just want to ensure that what you guys see there on, uh, on, on that screen there is, is one that I can be proud of. Alright, and I think... 285, yeah, we definitely have enough money for the Vine Bracelet. It sounds like I'm saying Divine Bracelet, but it's not. It's a The Vine Bracelet. So those of you that are going to be watching a VOD of this, yeah. I wonder how Divine and The Vine will be parsed and uh, read into text. There are three levels for the weapons in this game, Thomas. You're talking about for every single weapon. Well, there's actually three classes, right? So if you look at weapon skill, so you notice you, you see, okay, we're in the swords page, and then we tab on over to axes, and then we tab on over the spears. So there are three classes of weapons. Uh, maybe each one can go up to say, I don't know, like nine or something, as you're saying, Thomas. So th that's the assumption I'm going to make. So either 9 or probably 10. Oh yeah, we reached a 1 hour session mark here. Those of you that just joined, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful day today as we're starting off September with Secret of Evermore. So, so uh, contrast to what we mainly play here in this channel. So I ran into a technical difficulty with my card copy of Secret of Evermore. Uh, specifically, the gameplay save did not persist, and I, uh, this morning, uh, waking up, taking a shower before leaving for work, I did a, a, a quick test uh, power on of the SNES and try to boot up uh, uh, the save here, and I couldn't get anything. And so um, I decided going forward for the rest of the month, we're going to be playing Secret of Evermore on emulator. And so. Since today is technically part two, but this is really part one because we're, we're redoing part one of yesterday of yesterday's stream. So there we go. And another update as well, guys, that I'll be saying here and there for uh, for this week, but it should hopefully be uh, more uh, commonplace going forward is that I am going to be uh, actively uploading VODs. Once the stream is done here, I'm going to be uploading VODs up to YouTube and also keeping track of the of the stream number as well. So as you may know, some of you guys have heard me say this at least a few times over the years, but uh, every time we do a live stream here, I also do a, uh, a, a personal archive recording of the stream. So two things are happening right now at the same time as we speak. Um, so for all this time, up until until the until this weekend, or maybe until until early yesterday, or until this weekend, or this weekend that we just had, um, I've just been keeping all these uh, uh, archived streams with me and whatever vods you see on twitch are the ones that twitch will allow until uh the 60 day period is over or 90 day period or whatever i mean depending on whether i think it's i think since i have turbo i have twitch turbo so that means my the vods for this channel uh last uh, i think i think that they're, they're around for maybe a month or two more than 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 usual or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe for, for you guys, uh, you guys viewing uh, uh, the channel or subscribe to this channel, I think you guys have um, longer access. <laughs> of course, Jeff. Of course. I mean, we, 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 we couldn't be Ice Turbo without Twitch Turbo. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's like it's like it's like it's like you can't have corn flakes without the milk. You know what I mean? Hey there, Jeff. Welcome in. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Yeah, I'll be doing well here. Um, oh yeah, what did I say? Yeah. Uh, so so uh, going forward, I've been so what I found is that I have I've I've started putting up the vod from yesterday. So and and I've created I've created one playlist so far as suggested by uh, when yesterday, and so I have a new playlist of tw I think it's called Twitch VODs or something, and so the very first VOD I uploaded was yesterday's, and yesterday's stream was stream number five hundred and seventy one. We have indeed streamed. We have streamed for. 
more than 500 uh, times. So 571 is up, 572, this one right here will be going up after the stream is over here. So then you're wondering, okay, what about the first 570? What's going what's to happen with them? Well, I, I'm going to be starting a second playlist called uh, Classic Vods. And so uh, whenever I have time, when I'm not busy, um, like if... I mean, I mean, definitely not when I'm when I'm at work, when I'm uh, working at home or anything, not to hog up the bandwidth or anything. But uh, whenever I'm not streaming or if I'm just taking it easy, maybe during the weekend or whatever, I'll start uploading uh, uh, or continuing on with the classic vods. Uh, technically, the first stream is up already on on the YouTube channel, but it's under a different name. It's called the very first Ice Turbo stream. But um, that right there is quite a simple fix. I'll just change up the stream, change up the description a bit, so I'll fit this new format that I got started uh, with the description, and you can go check it out to see what I mean. Um, I'll relabel it, call it VOD1001, uh, and um, and, and whatever. And we'll go from there. And then the, the next classic VOD I'll put up is 0002. And so on and so forth until 570. And so I'll be doing those two things somewhat in tandem. Um, I don't know if there's a way to upload two videos at the same time on YouTube. I don't think YouTube will, will allow that or even allow that at all. But uh, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing as well. So yeah, I'm going to be... Uh, making better use of YouTube. Better use of YouTube. Alright, now with all that said, with all that said, okay, so my, my throat is a little bit parched here, so let me go drink some mate and then we'll continue on. Hold on. I don't know. Like I don't like it when I when I click something it like it like silences the emulator, whatever. Okay, now let's go ahead and get that back up here again. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was I, I was just a I, I was just a, a snowflake turtle. I was a snowflake turtle back then. <laughs> you think it's been a nice improvement? Oh, thank you, thank you, Bahamut. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I I, I like how I mean, I've had an idea from the get go. Of of all of these uh, all of these platforms to utilize, like I even thought about doing Instagram and X, but I haven't gotten I haven't gotten like like a, 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 like a nice foundational kind of purpose behind them. But I'm glad that Discord is 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 working out well. I'm I'm glad that YouTube is 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 getting used much better now and of course twitch is the main platform that's uh, the main focus here is retro but yeah the next like youtube thing that i want to do is maybe do some uh, modern gaming because youtube isn't necessarily all about retro i mean you guys check out the the some of the videos i have there it has nothing to do with retro gaming or even games at all i mean some of them are regarding music and um yeah and stuff so Oh, that's what you mean to say, Thomas? You get three weapons? Yeah, you get three weapon types, right? I mean, a sword. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Thomas. That, that's what. Uh, that's what. I I, I uh, uh, pointed out here. So you get, so you get the you get the sword here, and then you get the axe, so, which we'll get very soon, called the uh, spider claw, I believe, or whatever it's called, spider something, uh, from Thrax, and then the spear. I have no idea what because we didn't make it that far yet. And I believe that's going to be something we'll get later. So there we go. Okay. All right, so uh, 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 what are, were we going to do here? Oh, did we buy our did we buy our thing yet? No, I think we were we were about to go over to the shop. Dude, get out of the way. 
Dude, get out of the way, man. <laughs> All right. At least I, I, I think we haven't uh, bought the vine bracelet just yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy it here. Okay. Vine bracelet bought. Okay. Now let's go equip. Okay. Have our grass vest there and vine bracelet. Yay! Vine bracelet. All right. So now we got all the stuff. Got all the defenses. Now we can proceed. It dude, get out of the way. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna meet with us after we uh, save Strongheart. Yeah, definitely. All right. Um, yeah, to answer your question, Lamb, I don't. I don't. Not not me personally. Okay. Now let's go and save yet again. Sure, let's 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 go ahead and stay at the end. Let uh, let Ragnarok uh, get his uh, get their HP back. Yes. Save over this game. Yes. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna do an emulator save here. Okay. Function Shift F1. There we go. All right, so show you guys how if we loaded our save, we just have to press F1. So I have to press function F1 and see what happens here. Bam. So in case, in case the virtual uh, battery save <laughs> mechanism fails, which I'm sure it will not fail, it'll work fine. But just in case, we can always fall back to emulator save. Okay. All right, now that we save, now we can actually make some story progress here. So let's go ahead and do so. Let us go ahead and do so. You gotta destroy, destroy these fools along the way. Darn fools. And it causes trouble here. And Ragnarok is just taking them out. Taking them out like the trash they are. Taking out the trash. Taking out the trash. It's not even trash day. Didn't mean to hit you there, Rag. Didn't mean to hit. Didn't mean to. Didn't, did not mean to hit you there, Rags. What'd be cool is we can corral them together so that one hit will like register for like both or whatever, you know. Oh, we're been getting a lot of petals. Do we have like five or six petals right now? I think we should do a petal check in, in a little bit here. Let's take out the... I think it's the, the last of the... The last of the turtle shell vultures. Now let's go check to see how many petals we have. We have six! And we have one nectar. Yeah, this is what I was looking for here. I, I swear we had a nectar before the raptor fight. That's okay. That's all right. We're going to be using these guys here for the Thrax fight. That I can definitely guarantee here. Did you find something here, buddy? Did you find something here? Yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, I saw the, the turtle thing. That's okay. Okay, um... Yeah, we gotta, gotta avoid the avoid those uh, quicksands. Ah 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 ah! No. Yeah, we're gonna go 
here and there there is one quicksand that we have to fall through so it'll warp us over to the right side which one is it is it this one i think it's this one there we go and yeah, it's right here <laughs> Alright. Speed of the Jaguar. Yeah, he's gonna give us a Jaguar tooth ring if we buy something from him. We, we can afford something, so we can just buy one thing, like, uh... Like an essence, I guess? Sure. Alright, cool. Oh, weapon charges only go up to three? Oh, I see, I see, I see. So yeah, Thomas said that I was actually talking about something like this. Like, even if this was just, this was just an idea I had. Like, like, Secret of Mana, you know, has 10 levels and it takes, it takes years until, you know, level 10 is reached. You know, have to hold down the button, like for, for uh, many millennia. But if, if it's just up to level 3, that's actually pretty dang cool. At least I think. I mean, on paper, it appears to be really cool. But who knows how it really is. Okay. Rags. Yeah, you have to hold the A button. Yep. Hold the A button. Definitely useful uh, to try to outrun uh, outrun the whirlpools. Well, actually, kinda, kinda more effective. We can still be sucked into the whirlpools, even if we try to run away from them. There we go. Good doggy. Good doggy. Ah, no, no, no. Ah. That happened a lot <laughs> on yesterday's stream. That happened a lot. Yeah, that happened a whole lot. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, go, go after him. Yeah, go after him. At least it's better than, than than Doggy chasing his tail. I mean, it's all cute and all, but I mean... Thomas, does, does your dog Flower like to chase their tail? Quick tip, what's up? Ah, no! No! Blurish. Go to the dog attack bar, okay. I haven't set for it for a full time attack. Attack, attack, attack. What do you need to do? Put him in the middle? Is it the middle or or fight? Oh, uh, depending on what you want it to do. Yeah, I mean for the for the Thrax fight, it's definitely we're gonna, we're gonna put him right here. But I, I believe for everything else, I just just putting him in the middle would be uh, would be ideal. Yeah, just for bosses. Yeah, indeed, Thomas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, definitely. Always put him on fight for bosses. Totally. Yeah. Good advice, good advice. That is some good advice. Okay. Okay, now we gotta carefully make our way. Ah! Carefully make, make our way down. Ah, I, I. Hey there, vulture. Meet your doom! You sniff something? Oh, nice. Thank you. 
Do I like toast? Um, not as much as I used to before because I'm, I'm, um, I mean, I'll try to have some bread every now and then, but I try, but I, I, I don't eat as much bread as I used to. Why? Because we're about to get toast. Is that why we're about to get toast by Thrax? Will Thrax toast us? Will he show us how, how pathetic we are? Come on, doggy. Doggy. Did you find something? Anything? Will it get something later to make toast? Like butter? Butter on toast? Wait, do we have anything uh, of what you're talking about? Wait, um, wh where's our, um... Where's our thing? Oh, alchemy, yeah. All right, and our ingredients here. Ash on toast, root on toast, wax on toast, clay on toast, water on toast. No, no. I don't see anything that we put on toast. All right, I'll see you in a little bit, Thomas. Yeah, see you in a bit. Formulas and ingredients. Yeah, we don't have enough for Flash because we don't have whatever that is. That's uh, oil. I believe that's oil or whatever that was. I thought it was tar, but it's actually oil. Yeah, we're gonna get oil uh, sometime later. Not, not, not so distant future. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Just gonna chill right here, and then we're gonna go this way. Bam! Get the gourd. Four crystals. Cool, we see stairs here. Ah, 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 oh, oh. Anything here? Anything here, Rags? Anything here? Oh, nice. Sense anything here, or there, Rags? Nothing? Nothing? Good boy. Good boy. I right, get on over here. And I think we were going up, but let's go travel down here and see if we find something randomly here. Nope. Nothing there. Okay, nothing here. Since I'm looking at the guy, you'll tell me. Okay. What? So in this game, we'll have four worlds. Okay. Well, you don't have to tell me that. I, I'm, I'm not. I, I, I mean, I haven't read the whole guide yet. I'm, I'm going one by one. So Thomas, you're. I have to stop you there because you're, you're going into spoiler territory there. Unless there's a good reason you're doing this, but I, I suggest you don't carry on with what you're saying, please. We're going step by step here. We'll get there. Okay, cool. All right, cool. All right, please. Yeah, do, do, I, I, do, don't continue with what you're saying there. I mean, once we get to where we, where we get there, then you can, then you can uh, go all out and and uh, be verbose about it. But yeah, no, we're we're taking it step by step here. I, I mean, when I play by a guide, I don't mean. Well, I, I know the entire script of the script of the game, and we're just winging it here, or I'm acting like as though I don't know what I'm doing. No, I, no, it's not like that. We're 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 keeping it genuine here, but we'll, we'll, we'll with the help of a guide as 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 we progress. Yeah. Okay. Um. Can't carry any more pedals because we got six. Okay, six petals. This, I believe, is going to give us... We're going to find something here. Found clay, and what else? Anything else? 
Bust out the Brady games? Yeah, indeed, yeah. Yeah, Backlogic's found a Brady games uh, manual for us and posted it up on, um, up on uh, the Discord. There we go. Okay, those are the two things we were supposed to get. Okay, now, uh, let's see. We're supposed to... Oh, okay. Now, from this point here... Okay. Go up the stairs, exploring should see, a, should see a pedal. Now head back to the eastern forest from the path. And now we're gonna head. Okay, the bug muck is is south, so we're gonna have to go head head back down the stairs and then. Head back down the stairs and go to the bug muck. Oh, there we go. There we go. So there is the bug muck right here. Yeah, these skeleton guys there, they're, they're dangerous. They are quite, quite a fearsome bunch there. Good doggy, good doggy, good doggy, good doggy. There we go. There we go, good doggy. Hey, hey. There we are. Whacked him with our bone. Bone on bone battle. On the crystal. Hey. Freaking mosquito. Freaking mosquito. <laughs> Keep missing him. Freaking freak. Oh, I got here. Okay. More petals now. All right. Okay, let's go over to the cave, and I believe here we're gonna learn a spell. Duh! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, there's some spots, Thomas, where I feel like you could just jump over that little tiny whatever, uh, tiny little puddle. <laughs> but no. All right. Uh, which what is what is this one here? They're gonna teach us what was that hardball or something? I think hardball was the second spell we got. There you go. Yeah, it's hardball. All right. All right, so I'll activate it. I think we have. I think we have the parts needed for hardball here. I think we do. Uh, sure. Let's go. Purchase ingredients, I guess. Yeah. Uh, oil. Yeah, oil. This is what uh, we need for the uh, what is it? The um 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 what is it called? Uh, flash. Yeah, let's go buy a couple of these. We need like two parts oil to like one part wax or something. So we have three. Okay, so we have three flashes. We need to fuel for our cars. Oh, oh, Thomas. Oh, are 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 you are you spoil are you spoiling yet again? Are, do we do we have cars in this game? <laughs> no, we needed fuel for a game that you you hated that we but we last played in Final Fantasy VIII. We had cars. I didn't even use fuel for any any car we rented. I think we only rented one car there. I think we were in Esther City at that time. And we were driving a car, and did I not even use any fuel for cars? No, we used fuel for whatever else. Whatever else you do in that game. Yeah, I know, Thomas. I know what you mean. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, you know, Elon Musk will say something different. He'll say, he'll, he's gonna say, hey, screw oil. Make use of the freaking power grid. 
All right, so then uh, we can't buy any more oil. And let's go see the the ratio here. So eight to sixteen. Okay, we got eight uh, flash uh, casts here. Eight flash casts. Okay, and yeah, let's go record our progress. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Game saved. All right, now we're gonna do an emulator save. So function shift and F1. There we go. There we go. Let's go uh, find whatever is in these gourds here. Water, water, and clay. Oh, that's right, Thomas. I noticed that. Yeah, you can spam spells. And like one time, I remember I like did a I did a pedal, and then right after, like right before, I, there is like a brief window of time when you do something, you can actually go back. You can go back to your um, to your ring menu and like do something else there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I found that out during the Thrax fight yesterday. Okay, and I think I think we're already saved, and I think we're already all good here. Okay, get the gourd thing there to crystals, and that gourd up there we'll get access to, but only. Um, once we get either, either we beat Thrax or it's along the way to Thrax. And there's a, a place we need to go to. Oh, yeah, no, the, the, this guy can just get lost. Yeah. Um feel comfortable destroying him first. There we go. Hey, hey, dude! Chill the freaking heck on out, man. There we go! Tribe leeches, leeches, reaches level 7. Or leeches. De de depending on, depending on the game. Like, if this was, if this was, if this was Dracula tribe, then yeah, we would be leeching. We would be drinking pe- we would be vampire bats. We'd be vampire bats up in here. But there are leeches here, actually. These guys that we just fought that uh, carried petals. Actually, speaking of petals, we need to use them? No. Yes, Jeff! Watching some of my YouTube? Do I have an MSX or, or was I emulating? No, I have a real MSX. Yeah, I do. Yeah, um... I'll, I'll, give, you, uh, I'll give you one of my games here. Um... Yeah, so here's, uh, I think this is considered the very first Konami game made for the MSX. Uh, this is called Antarctic Adventure. Uh, the, the Japanese way you pronounce it is Kekkyoku Nankyoku. And yeah, so this is Antarctic Adventure. It was also ported to the Famicom, and I think also ported to many other systems. I think maybe the C64 had a, may have had a port as well, I don't know. But yeah, no, oh, this is a legit thing, and um, yeah, has an actual card on it and stuff. Yeah, I actually have two MSXs. I have a Turbo R and a 2 Plus. Uh, the Turbo R I have is a Panasonic A1 GT, and it has uh, an audio rebalance mod on it. Uh, I sent it over to uh, a, a person over in the Netherlands who uh, who uh, helped uh, make the mod for me. And uh, the other one, the 2 Plus, is uh, also Panasonic. Um, Oh, it's a WSX. That's right. I think it's called a WSX. Yeah. Uh, check the check the about page to, to to know the specifics. I think I have both of them there, or maybe I just have the the Turbo R. Yeah, th th that's basically where the Turbo from Ice Turbo came from. And it's hard to believe. You think it's Turbo Graphics? It's actually the Turbo R. That's where I got the the inspiration. Okay, so. Okay, we got eight flashes and seven hardballs. So that's that's what we have here. We're gonna save these for the Thrax fight. Save these for the Thrax fight. Oh, what are you sniffing there, buddy? Hey, go away from me, you you, you stupid mosquito. There we go. Got some ash. There 
There we are. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, hey. Freaking heck. You freaking heck. I don't have the CDI worst console ever, in your opinion. You know, I, I have now. Uh, don't take it wrong. I, I have the CDI on my on my console wish list, but that's like very low priority. I mean, I just have it there just for curiosity. I want to know how Wand of Gamelon and that or whatever that other uh, uh, Zelda game how that plays. I mean, I mean, just for historic purposes, but not as a pure fan, but just for intellectual curiosity, and you see if you, if you guys want to call it that. I mean, I'd rather pick up... I, I, mean, I mean, there's there's far more better consoles for me to pick up. Like, I really, I mean, I, I prefer a, a Sharp X68K, uh, the NEC PC88, uh, maybe get a Neo Geo CD, then uh, then then a CDI. I mean, I, I'm I'm curious about the 3DO and the Jaguar. There, there are a few good games on the Jaguar, I feel, but again, they're not on my on the top of my wish list here. Um, I think really out of all those consoles, the one console I didn't mention that I that I would have a, a really good like a deep interest in getting. Uh, more interesting than from any that I've mentioned uh, uh, there within the past few minutes or so is the Sega Master System. I'd like to obtain a Sega Master System with the FM unit. I believe that's going to be uh, I, I'll, instead of getting a Master System, it'll be called a Sega Mark III. So I'll be looking for a Japanese console. And I don't recall if they're region locked, but even if they are, that's okay. Then uh, th there's there's a whole bunch of games that a bunch of games that don't require any translation or anything that we can be able to enjoy here. But yeah, Master System. I mean, I have I think pretty much all. All of the North, uh, like the consoles that were both released in North America and Japan here, uh, or I mean, yeah, I mean everything from the Genesis. I have the Saturn. I have the uh, well, Genesis 32X, Sega CD, Saturn, and Dreamcast. But I don't have the Master System. And I feel like that is a big deal. I must get a Master System. Must listen to the awesome FM goodness. Jag is good, Thomas. Hotel Mario will be worth checking out too. Okay, I think I had, I think I do have Hotel Mario in my wish list. I think I think I have Hotel Mario. I think I do. Just in case I don't, let me just write this down here. I think we're I think we're safe here. Hotel Mario. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Is finding the games hard? Um, well, I mean, I mean, it's just all about going onto eBay and seeing what listings are there. Uh, it really depends on the kind of games. So it's like, a, like, I would say, like, finding a good variety of MSX titles is pretty difficult. Just, just from eBay alone, I'd had to resort to buying off of. Uh, Oh, I forgot where it was. I think it's Mercari or some, um, it was some Japanese, um, online, uh, merchant. And I needed to use, a, like, a third party, um, a, a third party, like, recipient. And then they had the, because, because then they can then, I can have the, the game, I can purchase the game, have it shipped to this third party, uh, Intermediary, and then they can then ship it over to me. I had to do that for one of the MSX games in my library, but that's as far as I went to like getting a game I want that there's uh, would be hardly, hardly many chance, hardly any chances of finding them on eBay. 
How far am I from the Hotel California? Oh, I have no idea. Where is it at? <laughs> I definitely am in California, but I, I don't know. I, and the, the, there's many hotels here, but I, I, I'm not sure. That's a. You're gonna, you're gonna have to ask the eagles. And no, I, I, I don't mean the ones. Uh, I don't mean any of the golden eagles I see uh, every now and then uh, in my area. <laughs> not those eagles. Ah. We're left with all these annoying mosquitoes, whatever, we'll just ignore them. We'll just ignore them. Okay, this is an interesting one here. This is where we can go slippity slidey and 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 like the uh, the pathways can get like broken and stuff. There's a passive adapter to play Sega Master System US games on Japanese market system. Okay, right, you know what? That's I would be so interested in picking up exactly what you're talking about there. Do I ever look at the Goodwill auction site? No. I don't think I ever have. Very odd retro sub shows up there at times. Um, I, yeah, I might go check it out. I mean, yeah, I mean, just so I'll be, I'll be more, more, uh, more familiar. Okay. Take care of these guys here. There we go. Oh, that's right. This is a slippity, slippity slidey. We don't want to be slippity sliding. No slippity sliding. Yeah, I believe we go down here, and then I think we're gonna be hugging the left side, or no. Yeah, no, I think we went the wrong way here. Okay, I think we're we're all the way back at the beginning. Yeah, the, the, this part here can 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 be a can be a thing. Hey, hey, dude, dude. Hey, freaking heck! D yeah, there you go. My doggo is strong. Hey, hey, hi. 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 <sighs> when, if you have, like, what kind of stuff have you picked up there? Or, I mean, is that, is that where you like, do you do, you do a good percentage of your retro gaming purchases from, from the Goodwill auction site? Or again, if not, uh, w w were there any, any purchases that uh, you'd be uh, proud of sharing? You know, I better write down what you just said there uh, when about getting a passive ad adapter to play U.S. Master System games. That is really, really, really something that I have to um, make sure I have on my uh, my Sega Master System page on my uh, my wish my wish list uh, spreadsheet with multiple tabs and stuff. Uh, let's see, uh, U.S. Sega Master System. Games via passive adapter on Mark Three. Okay, something like that. You only bought a few commons from there and bought any new cards for for four years. You think? Oh wow, that's a while ago. That is definitely a while ago. Passive adapter. Answers on a question. IG, no region lock, just different carts. Oh, nice. So I can even play PAL games. You're from PAL regions. What was the first software or chip region lock console? Um, well, I, uh, that's a good question. I mean, well, if you say chip, you're meaning like it, it could be either on the uh, on the hardware on the console side or hard or hardware wise on the on the so on the on the on the card side, or whatever the medium is. Uh, but definitely PC Engine was, I mean, Hue cards were restricted via software, uh, and NES games definitely were as well. Um, MSX games are not, I mean, not the original ones, but I think later on there was a region lock system uh, uh, put in place. Um, I believe 
one or t at least one of the Konami games were actually strictly region locked. Um, I believe it was Metal Gear. I think it was Metal Gear. So, um, I can't be able to play my Japanese copy of MSX Metal Gear on a, on a PAL uh, MSX. Because it'll try to detect the region and stuff. But I think for others that can play in different regions, I mean they'll just play. But on if you try to play, if you try to play a game on on a on a on a PAL console, it'll it may it may actually typically play slower because uh, the games was pro the game was programmed on on a 60 hertz refresh rate, while on the PAL console it's about 50 hertz, I believe, I think. I mean, given you're you're playing the PAL console on a PAL territory that that supplies the uh, the power, like so, with that frequency. At least that's what I think. But yeah, to answer your question, one yeah, actually I don't know. I do, I do not know what would be the very first. Okay. Hey, punk, punk, freaking punk, you, you, you punk skeleton dragon, yeah, there you go. Hey, dude, dude. Yeah. Cool. It'd be so awesome if tribe levels up here. That would be just supremely me. Oh, we're gonna forget about that, dude. Or I guess uh, not. Okay. I guess they're gonna be slippity sliding. Yay! Slippity sliding. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll go take a little bit of a break here, just a little bit. Uh, I gotta finish up my mate here and uh, read your guys's uh, uh, read your guys' stuff here. Actually, you know, instead of clicking um, clicking mute on the mic, what if I just press the mute button on the mic itself? I was just testing to ensure that you guys don't hear me. Okay, cool. So, the, so the, the literal mute button on the mic actually works. Okay, awesome. All right. Great investment of this mic here. I mean, I bought this mic back in like 2021, early 2021, yeah. And so far for what, three or four years has been working like a charm. Wow, that's quite a robotic voice there. <laughs> I don't know if I can be able to top that. <laughs> Thanks for the hundo, Captain. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this mate is really good, really good. And if you guys ever had this mate, I'm sure this is a, a, a global or worldwide thing. Oh, no, maybe not. Or maybe nationwide. It's a nationwide thing. Definitely find a lot of them here in my area because that's where they're. Uh, uh, they're produced. Not too far. We're around the general vicinity. I also have also have some uh, more tea here. I got mate and some tea here. Okay. Yeah. There was a time where I didn't mute the mic while I was drinking a, a, a water or a tea or a coffee. Yeah, you're going to be seeing that in, in some of these VODs I'll be putting up, so you, you, you can enjoy, you can enjoy your slurp. <laughs> you had them, Captain? Did you try them? I don't know if I remember if you, if, if I asked if you guys ever heard of Tajava, but I'm assuming, Captain, that you see them in your area, so, so you can find them readily. Yeah, they are really, really good. I mean, like, um, as someone who's uh, trying to limit the amount of uh, sugar I, I intake on a, on a general basis, on a weekly basis, I mean, besides the, the balls energy drinks that I have on a Saturday, 
These are really, really good and a great alternative to the sugary Pure Leafs I used to uh, enjoy uh, drinking also on stream. So this is a very good alternative. Like these, even though th they're marketed as being and, and rightfully so as they're, you know, sugar free, just pure, just, just pure tea, there's still a, somewhat of like an intrinsic kind of um, like, 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 like an earthy kind of intrinsic sweetness about them that once my taste buds get into the way th this tea tastes, it's like, I don't even think about sugar. I mean, I think, I, 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 th I think this thing really doesn't need sugar. Tea really doesn't need sugar. No, it really doesn't. You know what herba mate tastes like? The plant is pretty though. Oh, you know, it, uh, what would be a good description of, of mate? It does remind me of something else, though. Um, it has somewhat of a. It, it's like pre. Okay, so when try to imagine the taste of mint, but it is extremely watered down, like extremely watered down, and there's a and and there's a hint of tea leaves there. So 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 if you can imagine that, that's how mate is. And it's quite refreshing. Anyway, I gotta drink my Java here. And then we're gonna go get back to this video game here that we're playing on emulator. Now, and I'll go explain for you guys joining in a bit later why we're playing this game on emulator. I didn't get a chance to read your message there when uh, I don't even remember what the 3DO controllers look like. Uh, they they were um, they there were three button controllers. Just uh, they look like a Genesis controller from from the from a distance. So I remember that. So 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 if you think of the A, B, and C buttons, they were they had it oriented just like that. That's how the the packing controllers were. You didn't like the Jaguar controllers? Yeah, the Jaguar controllers looked huge and there was like a there was like a number pad there. It's quite old school. Brick size original Xbox Xbox controller. You're probably talking about the Duke. There are some fans of the Duke, and I look at it and I think that, that that's a that's a monstrosity of a controller. You had like uh, you had like uh, two analog joysticks, you had a D-pad, and you had four buttons in like a pill shaped form or teardrop shaped form or whatever and like right above it you had the black and white button i remember that <laughs> the plant used to make it is in the holly family i've heard that mate and of course this is an empty bottle of mate here i mean i actually used to have something there but you see i drank it it's gone there was a mate but I drank it. I, I drank it, or whatever. I, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. Uh, I'm trying to uh, tr trying to give you a meme-like answer. But anyway, yeah. So mate. Uh, I did some research on mate. It's it's a popular thing in um, South America. Yeah, they they like they like live and die by by this. <clears throat> All right. I think we're ready here. Alice, I think. Okay. Let's... Let's go. Okay. Alright, so we're better off now than before because we... Um, well, first and foremost, we forgot what the, what the route was. And number two, now we're, we're better off than before because, well... Yeah. Or better off than we were before. Okay. And we gotta destroy this stupid thing. There we go. Stupid freaking bone dragon or whatever. Bone dragon from freaking Castlevania. Go back to Castlevania, man. Go back to Castlevania. There we 
go. Okay. That over there is going to take us to a screen where it'll lead to a bunch of gourds. Oh, well, let's go destroy this thing. Get, get another level or whatever. Okay, cool. Okay, so... Oh! Hey! Alright, Ragnarok. You're so awesome. Such a good boy! Such a good boy! Okay, there's literally nothing there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so so Ragnarok here, it, like, like uh, our boy here buffed up a bit here. And uh, from what I've seen, I did see some pictures here and there of some later... Um, later screens and uh, our boy here will take on different forms so I know that's a spoilery kind of thing but I did see that that our boy will take on different forms but I want to I want to try to forget what I what I've seen and just go along with the story and just enjoy how uh, everything all develops but that is something that I will share that is definitely something I'll share with you guys. And you know the other thing we gotta do here? Gotta use a petal. Let us use a petal. Where is our petal? <laughs> He's a Cujo form. <laughs> Yo, yeah. So our, our dog here apparently is gonna become a robot too. Did you know that? He's gonna become a robot. Robot doggo. He's gonna be a robot doggo. But yeah, he's in Cujo form right now, yes. Indeed. Alright, so now we're gonna go here. Remember toast? Toast? Toast. 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 Toast? Butter on my breakfast toast? Now think of Robot Doggo? Toast and doggo? Butter? Huh? Toast and butter? Robot doggo? Toast? Sure. <laughs> Let's go heal up doggo. Let's go heal up our Ragnarok here. There we go. Okay, I'll try to think of toast and robot doggo. Okay, I, I, will, I will try. I will try. I still can't put... I still can't put put them together, but okay. Uh, I'll believe you. What makes toast? Uh, bread and... Uh, a toaster? Bread and a toaster and probably butter and... Yeah, b a butter, bread, and, and a toaster oven. How does what does that have to do with with robot doggo? I still don't get the connection. Does robot doggo breathe fire? Is that what it is? Does he breathe fire? Will he, will, will robot doggo make toast for us? I still don't get it. Cool, found some roots. What really, Thomas? What? Wait, really? What? <laughs> is that going to be like a significant part of the st story? Or <laughs> he will 100% make toast? Oh, that is so such a great doggo. Doggo is a toaster. <laughs> oh, I want to see that. Oh, I want to experience that. I don't know if we're going to experience that today, but I think we will definitely experience it sometime this month. Whatever this thing is. Toaster doggo. <laughs> Freaking heck, man. Freaking heck, man. Hey, dude. Okay, now we meet it. 
Oh dang! Yeah, yeah. I didn't notice, but our our bone uh, got up to a level. Yep. We we can we can do a level one attack. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. Um. What should we do here? Should we actually go back and save, or can we just have at it here? I think we can just have at it here, yeah. Because we've already gone through this part already. I think we are ready. I think we are ready for this. So up north here will be a fight against Thrax. Be the fight against Thrax. So... Let's go ahead and set up our... Set up Ragnarok here. And make him fight. Set him to one. And I think we will be all good here. Okay. Well, let's 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 see what happens here. important it is to open up the heart because we're like just taking them out we're damaging him heart anymore? No, we don't. Alright. Alright, let's go heal up now. Okay, we're gonna need to use a pedal on Tribe, and then use a pedal on Doggo. Use a pedal on Doggo. Sort in, go flash on Rex's heart, and we'll use it again. Rex's heart. I guess we can't. There we go. Okay, now let's go use uh, another pedal. Two of them. Okay, there we go. Open them up here. Let's go use another as a flash on Thrax's heart. And use another flash on Thrax's heart. Cool. Let's use a nectar on. Uh, I'm gonna use a pedal still. Let's use a pedal. 
Huddle uh, Tribe. Okay, now we can go back here, use uh, Flash on uh, Thrax's heart. Let's do another one. <laughs> hey there, Zard. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you there again. Well, Zart, we're, we're playing on emulator now because our our original card uh, couldn't uh, keep a save file. I checked this morning and I, I put this I put the sticky note there. Uh, I checked this morning uh, if I could be able to uh, open up the save, and I and I can't. So we're playing this on emulator, and we're gonna finish the game on emulator uh, this month. Uh, that could be it, Zard. I actually don't know for sure. I didn't. I didn't bother to open it up and check. So who knows? It, it could be. It could be more than that. It could be maybe a capacitor leak or whatever. But it didn't look like it did. It, it looked like the graphics were fine. Usually, if there's a capacitor leakage, it'll it'll look all corrupt and it'll screw up the screw up everything else. But yeah, probably was just the battery. Okay. Copy a secret evermore. A moment of silence. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, uh, it's true to some degree, but like, I mean, I still have yet to open this up and see what the actual problem is. I mean, if it, if it is truly dead, I, I can't even be able to to start up the game. I mean, I can. It's just that if I start up the game, it doesn't detect the save uh, file. I mean, the save file itself. I mean, can be mourned, but. Not the game itself, though. Yeah, it lives in limbo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 limbo, um, limbo, Antarctica, somewhere there. I'm not gonna be flying over to, Ant to Antarctica. I'm not gonna go all the way there just to freaking find our save file. No, we're making progress here. I feel like we're we're doing an okay job here. I think. I think we are. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Heal up. Okay, and there we go. Actually, we actually hit harder with our bone than we do. Oh, speaking about bone, dog biscuit. <laughs> the save file this is the soul of the RPG. That's true. Yeah, I mean uh, that that is actually literal. That is true. It used to be the password. <laughs> yeah, it, it, can you believe that prior to the save file, it used to be a password, a friggin' password. Hey, dude. We are yay first time first try every time all right can you believe that the first uh, the first attempt yesterday we died we died to this guy yeah, he was bugging us, Zard. Exactly, exactly. He 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 bugged us, and we we just couldn't take it anymore. We we lost our wits. We lost our cool. Thank you for the GG, Lamb. Thank you for the GG, Bahamut. All right. And we got this. We got the axe there. I think it's called. I, I didn't even get what the name of it is there, but uh, yeah, it's a spider or something. Anyway, we saved Strongheart, and he's gonna teach us something or whatever. Tribe, and it's my dog Ragnarok. He hasn't been in self lately. 
10 wax and 10 oil. This is, this is enough for, what, like five flashes? Don't we want, don't we need two parts oil to one part wax or something? Okay, cool stuff. Doggy, you, you, did you find something here? But what is this called again? Spider's Claw. Okay, there we go. And it auto uh, equipped. Nice. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can change our. We gotta change our doggies' actions. It change, changes actions to middle. There we go. To the middle. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, there you go. There you are. Okay. Now, let's see. Let me pause right here. I think there was a... Uh, there was a thing. We're supposed to go to the right. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's go over to the right instead. We're gonna find a, a nice uh, piece of uh, armor. Found some roots. At least I think. That's where we came from. Wait, let me go pause here for one more time. Okay, um, did we miss out on something here? Thought we missed out on something. Okay, whatever. Okay, sure, whatever. Thought we missed out on something. I, th I, th I thought we were gonna, we were, we were gonna re find a mammoth gourd. Is it this one right here? Oh, I think it's this one. Two crystals and there, and then the mammoth gourd will be right here. Or mammoth guard. Mammoth Guard, not Mammoth Gourd. Okay, so this thing, if we go over to the Equip menu, this will be an improvement to the Vine Bracelet. Yay! The improvement to the Vine Bracelet. A sink and dent sets a game where you have a shovel and dig with the stamina bar. Yeah, indeed, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, we called it yesterday Seiken Gaiden. This is not Seiken Densetsu, this is Seiken Gaiden. This is the Sacred Sword side story, or the side story of the Sacred Sword. However it is you want to look at it. However it is you want to translate it. Or Holy Sword. Holy Sword, Sacred Sword. <laughs> Are you glad that name caught on? Yeah, it, ca it caught on here. It, it, ca it caught on with me. Seiken Gaiden. Yeah, if, if they if they would ever make if they're ever gonna make this game in Japan or like port this game, uh, instead of giving it a very complicated name to pronounce, Secret of Evermore, I bet that's really complicated to to pronounce. There, just call it Seiken Gaiden. Everybody, everybody's gonna be like, "Oh, I get what you're saying." <laughs> well, because I do, I think Seiken Gaiden is better. I think Seiken Gaiden is better. Second Gaiden, also known as Secret of Evermore. Anyway, anyway, whatever it is I was saying, let's uh, make some story progression here and and uh, chop up some uh, leeches. Oh, you, 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 you turtle shelled vultures! Oh, you guys are gonna get it. You're gonna feel the power of the spider claw, which is actually an axe. Doggy, are you? No, nothing. Okay. Okay. Anything? No. Okay. Four parts wax. Yeah, there we go. Anything here? Anything here, doggy? No? Come on, rags. Come on, rags. Bark, bark. 
Oh, actually, hold on. Um, wasn't there a... Hold on, wasn't there a secret... Um, wasn't there a secret entrance here that we missed? I think there was. There was a secret entrance that we missed here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's right. This is the entrance here. So I found some water, clay, clay, and a biscuit. And a biscuit. Delicious doggy biscuit for Ragnarok, our doggy. And we're gonna learn a thing here. We are gonna learn a thing. Been through a lot. A lot of bugs and baddies out there. They're probably giving you a hard time. You're telling me? Here's something that should help you out in the sand, tar, and lava. It's the formula of acid rain. Just mix three parts water with one part ash, and you'll have a potent concoction. Nice. All right, you definitely, definitely have, we definitely have what it takes to do acid rain for sure. Shower enemies with acid, so these uh, hit multiple enemies. I think this is the first of the spells that hit multiple enemies. I think I guess by default, I guess, or something. Okay, Did I to purchase? Sure. Yeah, we got some monies here. Definitely got some monies. Um, should we actually get anything, or are we all good here? Uh, maybe buying some waxes would be good. Twenty-nine waxes. Um, what is it that um, was mentioned uh, yesterday? Um, Thirty. Because like every single time you cast a spell, that's one experience, right? So you have, don't you have to cast like a total of a hundred spells to to gain to gain the next level on your spell or something? Um, because Sky won't be here afterwards, so I, I want to ensure that I get all the all the stuff. Get all the stuff here. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Let's record progress. Let's do that. Yes. Game save. Okay, now we're gonna do an emulator save. So to the emulator save, to do it, you have to press hold function, shift, and F1. There we go. Okay. Four parts ash and four parts of water. Okay. Now let's go back and continue on towards the towards the east or westerly direction. Yeah. I gotta get my, my directions right here. Oh, what's this? Found a pedal. Alright. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Alright, so then... I have to go back to the village where... Um, where uh, Fire Eyes at. But guess what? Because we have the axe, look what we can do. We can chop stuff. Just we, we we can be Link. We can be like Link in in Link to the Past. We can be like Link right here. And we are so awesome. We be so powerful. We are so, we 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 are our our axe here is just so versatile. Not only can it slay enemies it could also cut down cut down a uh, thick thick brushes and tall grasses that are in our way and block our progress and it's because our axe here is awesome okay bunch of stuff here we can get there's actually a couple of gourds that we didn't have access to because of the, the 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 thick grass or whatever that was blocking our way. Found paddle. 
Okay. <laughs> a sword couldn't do that. Yeah, oh, what did we have as our sword? We had that bone thing. That that, that bone wasn't even, even remotely close to a butter knife. And a butter knife, I mean, we have to work on it, but I think a butter knife would have a butter... A, a a butter knife would 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 at least have a decent chance at cutting a blade of grass than than a than a huge bone can, and and, and both of them are considered swords. Either hey dark, welcome in, welcome in. Do I play Secret of Mana and Romancing Saga? Um, we played Secret of Mana a couple of years ago. Uh, if you check the, the game list, I have a tab which shows gameplay history. And we played Secret of Mana, I think it was our uh, July or August game of 2022. Um, so uh, yeah, we like the Secret of Mana style of gameplay for sure. I think this is... This is and 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 my only introduction and only game ever that I've fully completed out of that series was Secret of Mana. Um, this will be my second, the second game I'll be trying to complete that fo that follows the same formula. Um, the only other game I have that uses the Secret of Mana uh, gameplay style is Second and Sets of Three, and I have it in in uh, one one of the. One of the boxes back here, one of my uh, Super Famicom boxes, Sink and Den Sets of Three. I do not have Final Fantasy Adventure, and no, I don't think I have any. Maybe I have a Saga. Oh no, I have Saga Frontier. I don't. I don't have Romancing Saga. No, Saga Frontier is different. Uh, 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 uh three Sink and Den Setsu Three. Yeah. Um, let me see if I could. I can find it here. Is. Oh, it's all the way over here. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's this game, Dark. Sink and Densetsu Three. This this was the actual true sequel to Secret of Mana that we never got here in the West, until it was uh, until it was. Uh, well, there was two things that was done. They did a three D like modern uh, remake called Trials of Mana. It's known as Trials of Mana right now, but this is like the original. And then if you if you purchase Collection of Mana on the Switch, um, that's the only... You would find, you'll also get this game in there too, but you'll get the original. You get this version here. You'll get this version here, but officially translated in English from Square Enix themselves. But yeah, this is the one in Japanese. I'd say like this is going to be one of the next games we'll play after... I, I think we'll... Oh, you know, I think we'll save this for last. I think the next game after this with, within the Mana series we'll play will be Final Fantasy Adventure on the on the Game Boy, probably. Or, you know, maybe we'll save the Game Boy version... Or we'll save the Game Boy game for last. This may be the next game we'll play. We'll try to tackle the, the Japanese as we play. Yeah. Cover looks new. Yeah, this is in good condition. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's in pretty good condition. That that is definitely true. And surprising, this doesn't. This didn't cost an arm and a leg. It actually wasn't terribly expensive. It's not a dirt cheap game, but it wasn't. It wasn't like exorbitantly expensive. Anyway, I'll put this back on in, in its uh, spot later. I just thought I'd sh I'd share that over there. Fifty dollars, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. I, I, U.S. I think it was like uh, between fifty and a hundred, somewhere around there, for a complete in box. Yeah, um, maybe a little bit more than a hundred, maybe between maybe between seventy-five and one hundred fifty dollars, somewhere around there. I think I remember I paid. Okay, so what are we doing here? Okay, let's get on out of here. Okay. And let's go grab something from the nearby gourds. Nearby gourds? Hey. Hey, dude. Oh, this actually leads us to somewhere. No, I don't I don't wanna go up there. Actually, yeah, let's go up there. I think I think we're gonna find a 
We're gonna find someone who will teach us something. At least I think. Ragnarok? Did you find something here, buddy? Oh, I found something here. Come on, rags. Come on, rags. Anything? Find something there? Find something there, boy? Did you find something? Good boy! Good boy! Good boy. Anything else there, boy? Anything else, Raggy? No, okay. We're good. Uh, this area, Thomas? I have no idea. Thomas, I thought you'd know. I mean, you're, you're, you're an expert. You're, you're an expert in this game compared to me. <laughs> no, actually, I don't know. Uh, this looks like a special... I, I don't know. Oh, you, you actually do know? What I what do I think? Oh, I think isn't this where we pull the master sword? <laughs> I don't know actually. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I I I'm, I'm I so have Link to the Past on the brain right now. <laughs> Are we gonna find out later? Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Okay, who knows? I mean, maybe tomorrow. Maybe we'll find out tomorrow. Maybe within the next hour and a half. Oh, doggy, what'd you find? Ooh, good boy, good boy. Hey, hey, you, you, you stupid flower. You stupid flower. Stupid flower is about to attack me there. Anyway, slaughter them flowers. We gotta go back to town. Yeah, we're definitely going to go back to town. Um, should we go after this? The, there's a, Isn't there like one more gourd somewhere? I mean, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Let's just go back to town. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to town. Okay. Come on, Ragnarok. Let's go talk to Fire Eyes. I think we're already progressed enough through the story. We're, uh, we're about to... Um, cross over to where we last left off and so um, we'll start uh, we'll start uh, doing some narration here all right let's go over to fire eyes here and see oh yeah she's gonna she's gonna demo her her abilities here in a bit if I remember correctly I hear you were victorious in the far reaches of the bug muck well it was a bug hunt but we got out of it okay and we got a nifty claw too it's like an axe well, that's... that's great! <laughs> Strongheart has returned to his hut south of the village. And now the village faces a new crisis. The volcano to the north is rapidly cooling down. Rapidly cooling down and... Uh, and uh, global cooling is happening. The, the, the opposite of global warming, which is happening in, in IRL here. He looks like that guy from a brawl game. Oh, um, uh, are you talking about the Mother Three guy? You're talking about uh, was it Ness or not Ness? Um, whatever his whatever his name is, the guy that always yells PK Thunder, right? And brawl is that the one? I forgot what his name is. Oh, you're not talking about Smash Brothers. I thought you were talking about Smash Brothers there, Dark. NES? He looks like somebody from, from an NES game. Oh, no. Oh, no. N not NES Thomas. Okay. All right. <laughs> Side scrolling like Captain Commando. Oh, oh <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, Ness. Okay. Well well the way Ness's name is, is spelled, it's it's with two S's. That's why I wasn't sure what you're talking about. Like like Ness is how a lot of people like pronounce the the abbreviation for Nintendo Entertainment System. I mean, I get that. I usually would just just literally pronounce each letter. The NES. It just it just it just flows. 
And like other people pronounce S and E S as SNES. And I'm like, okay, I mean, that's cool, but I still say S and E S. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, I'll, I don't know, Dark. Uh, can anyone address Dark's question? Uh, a Romance of the Three Kingdoms, isn't that like a. Like, like, like a, like a, like a, a real-time strategy game. Isn't that anything like, oh, if it's like Ogre Battle, I mean, like, that's the one that Captain, um, like, introduced, uh, me to. And, uh, if it's anything like Ogre Battle, go for it. I mean, I don't know. Oh, it's our, okay, okay, there we go, okay. All right, good, okay, y you have some people to help you out there, Dark. Uh, I, inf I unfortunately cannot. <laughs> All right, rapidly cooling down and, and, and it's causing global cooling and, and nobody likes it cold. They, they want to see some sunshine, they miss it. If this trend continues, we can have an ice sage in our hands. I'd like to help you, but I've really got to start looking for a way back home. Your best bet may be to track down the source of this atmospheric icing. You see, I'm originally from Padunk too. My grandpa is an inventor who lived in the mansion on the hill. He made a machine that could send people to worlds of their own design. Since I enjoy all things prehistoric, I dreamed up this world of cave people and dinosaurs. I was supposed to be here for a couple of hours, but it's been a couple of decades. Okay, I think I accidentally hit something with my foot. Okay, there we go. There was some buzzing I was hearing on my headphones, and you guys weren't hearing it, but that's okay. I took care of it, so we're all good. Oh, so, so Wen got the name there. Tenchi no Tenchi wo kurau tsu. Sekiki no tatakai. Okay, so I guess I, I can I can see that um, tatakai there it means it's a battle. It's some kind of a battle. It's a battle battle of seki heki. At least I can get that. And tenchi is probably spirit. Something about like a high spirit. And I, I don't know what Kurau is. Kurau. Kurau. I'm trying to recall Kurau, but no, I can't recall what it is. But it's some kind of a battle. It is definitely some kind of a battle. Anyway, back to the game here. I'll reread the, that line there. I was supposed to be here for a couple of hours, but it seems a couple of decades. Now and again, I sense evidence of outside influences on our world. This recent drop in temperature could be the work of someone from the real world. And that person has control over the vicious volcano Vipers, with a capital V. If you go to the source at the center of the volcano, you might find someone or something that could lead you back home. And you might just save our village at the same time. Alright, two birds with one stone as they say. Wow, this is like what happens in The Pale People of Planet V. It's about a bunch of astronauts who get stuck on an exact replica of Earth. Only it's populated by zombie vampires and... Well, actually, this isn't like that at all. <laughs> if you're finished with your little anecdote, I can give you the ability to call on me in difficult situations. Yo, we got six call beads. All right. If you ever, if you need my help, especially in big battles, you can throw a call bead to the ground. I'll appear in a flash. Then you'll be able to summon one of my spells. No offense. Okay, this is the this won't 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 be working nowadays. No offense, but how can a girl help a couple of adventurers like us? I've learned a few tricks since I've been here. Let me show you why they call me Fire Eyes. Step back. <laughs> just step back, just like one sprite.
call me if you need my help. <laughs> All right, and something happened here. Picked up some ash. Nice. Way to go. Oh, is it Destiny of an Emperor? Is that what that was? Ooh, I wonder if Tenshi and Kurawu actually map into any of this. Uh... Let's see, um, I remember we fought the Emperor in Final Fantasy 2. Now I think, I'm trying to recall what the name of the... What the name of the final boss was when we played the Famicom version of FF2. I'm trying to recall... I don't think it, I don't think it was any of those names. Um, I think Destiny of an Emperor uh, it isn't a one-to-one -one translation of Tenchi o Kurao. Yeah, because I think I remember Emperor... Oh, what was the Emperor called in FF2? Kote? I think it's Kote. Yeah, I think it was called Kote. If I remember, yeah, Kote. We were fighting Kote. So that is Emperor. Tenchi is probably something else. Yeah, Tenchi o Kurao is, is, isn't... It doesn't translate to Destiny of an Emperor. I think maybe one of the names is... I think one of the words may, may stand for Destiny, but none of them stand for Emperor. That's from my, my limited knowledge of Japanese. Limited knowledge of Nihonga. Yeah. Yeah, Skoshi Nihongo. Anyway. Uh, let's see. What are we gonna do now? So we got some call beads in now. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so uh, we're gonna meet a. We have to meet Strongheart. Yeah, let's go ahead and meet Strongheart here. Actually, before we do so. Let's go ahead and save. Let us go ahead and save wherever our thing is. Okay, wait, I think I have to go up here. Um, I think we do... Is it through here? Yeah, it's through here. And then we go up there. And then we go this way. And then we will... Oh, you know what? Actually, before we save, let's go to our... Let's go to the merchant and sell off... I think one of our uh, items there that we uh, we no longer need anymore. I think I think there's at least one item, one of our old uh, equipment that we don't need anymore. Uh, yep. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of the vine bracelet. And I think that's it. Yep, got some money from that vine bracelet. Okay. All right, now we have enough money to stay at the inn here, and then we can save. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Let's go rest up. Rest up well. Okay. Yes, let's save our progress. Save our progress. Okay, and now we're also going to save on the emulator. So in order to do that, we have to hold the function key, hold the shift key, and then press F1. All right. Okay. Yeah, so those of you that uh, just uh, arrived here and are, are looking and seeing, okay, we're, we're playing on an emulator. Our, our deal is that we hardly ever do play uh, on emulation. So what's going on here? So, um, the, the, the game of September of this wonderful year of 2024 is Secret of Evermore. However, I put a sticky note on there saying that the battery has failed because we spent the entire stream yesterday, stream numero uno of Secret of Evermore, playing this card with the full belief and faith that the save file will be persistent, but apparently probably the battery's dead here or something. So K 
can't play off of the cartridge. However, it's okay. We can play on emulator and we can push on through and see Secret Evermore from start to finish off of an emulator. So there we go. So there is these little circumstances here and there where um, we are still a primarily OG hardware uh, centric uh, channel here with the retro games and the way and you're going to see that how we play the game via emulator here it is as though we're playing on a console so there'll be no speed ups uh, uh, no other trickery going on with the mapping of the buttons and stuff on on the on the controller and so the controller I'm using here uh, this is an iBuffalo controller is connected to my PC uh, it has all the buttons uh, required uh, to uh, emulate a an NES uh, controller and I know that it's not obvious but there are actually L and R uh, buttons right here uh, it's probably not that obvious to see maybe in some in some uh, light reflection you can see the notches there but yeah I have all the buttons required here and um, yeah, we're going to finish this game uh, by the end of the month uh, via emulator and um, say that uh, we covered Secret of Evermore. Now, regarding the fate of this uh, cartridge here, I'm going to set this aside. There's a, I have a couple of other, um, actually I have a bunch of con uh, I, uh, two, two consoles that need to be, uh, will be sent uh, with this over to uh, a local uh, retro shop and see if they can be able to fix these guys up for me. Translator says Kurau means devouring and the one to one is devouring of heaven and earth. Ooh, heaven and earth, Tenchi. Oh, interesting. So Ten in Tenchi is heaven and Chi is earth. So Tenchi together, like they, they don't like, like it's interesting because like in, in Japanese, like if you want to say the equivalent of like X and Y, you really just say X, Y. So there you go. So that's how Tenchi is. And Kurau, yeah, Kurau, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you know what's another uh, good uh, usage of Kurau? Is instead of um, saying that if you're hungry, if you want to eat something, um, like, um, like you'd say, um, like, Gohan, Gohan wo tabemasu. Or, or gohan o tabemashita, which means I just ate some rice. I just ate rice. But if you say something like um, gohan o kurau, then it's like a, it's like an exaggeration. Like like you're really really hungry. You really devoured that rice or whatever. Or or just just insert whatever you want. Or ramen, ramen o kurau, or something like that. Like you, you, you really devoured that ramen because you're so freaking hungry. I think I, I believe I'm 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 pretty certain that's the correct usage of that um, of that verb kulau. So happy to have the emulators to have us back up. Yeah, me too, Captain. Me too. <laughs> me too. Yeah. What, what was the last game we played via emulator? It was Mega Ten Two. And then um, I, prior to that, it was Final Fantasy because yeah, the, the the original Final Fantasy NES card had the same problem. Uh, Famish Bahamut, probably. I think so. I, I think Kudalu is like a like a like a much more yeah. It's like a it's it, it's it's like it's like you're like abnormally abnormally hungry. That's what I think Kurau uh, uh, represents. Like it could be used in place. Like it, it could be used um, where uh, in in in, this, in like talking about food or eating or or the desire to desire to eat or something like that. Okay, so we saved and now we are going to search for. The dude we saved. So he set up shop somewhere nearby here. Let's go look for our dude here, Strongheart. Okay. Okay, so. Make our way south back to where we fought those, those darn raptors. But we love raptors. I like raptors. I like birds of prey. 
Birds of Prey are awesome. Oh, by the way, did you know that this weekend, guys, I I, I took a, a walk down this or along this route that I jog, and um, and there's this part where there's this somewhat of an open field, and I had my binoculars out, and I spotted a hawk, like like swooping down from a tree, snagged something on the dry brush and then make its way back up to a tree and it was eating something. I don't know what it was. It was either a lizard, a small little gecko like lizard or um, or maybe it was like a or maybe it was like a, a gopher, a baby gopher, a baby squirrel. I can't really see because 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 I like like it's really hard to get a to, to hold a binocular still, but I'm sure it was eating something. It was really, really cool. Yeah, I, I, I love watching hawks and stuff do their thing. Yeah, indeed, Thomas. Yeah, that's right. That is exactly where we got this from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple of the of of the shots there are uh, are actually from 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 uh, spots where we were already at, except for the for, except for the middle one here. I think there we get there a bit later in the game. But but it sure does look nice though, right? I mean, the aesthetics of the banner. I think it looks really nice. It has this nice nice warm cozy feel about it. And that's what I wanted to, uh, 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 the kind of feeling I wanted to, uh, to invoke. I think it worked. I know, it, it works for me. <laughs> works for me. All right, so now we're gonna find wherever Strongheart is. Okay, so Strongheart's gonna be somewhere down here-ish. Okay. All right, so chop our way. Oh, oh, thanks there, buddy. And yeah, let's go destroy this stupid flower. There you go. Stupid flower is stupid. Okay. Slash, slash, slash. Slash. Hey. You got got a nectar, hey, dude. <laughs> there you go. Got what you deserve there. Got what you deserved. Okay, cool. And another gourd. Got a shell hat! Yay! Alright, so this is... This will be a replacement of the grass hat. Yay, you got ourselves a shell hat. Yay! Not a chevron hat, but a shell hat. Both great quality gas, though, I would say. Back when I was, uh... Yeah, w way back when I was all about getting like premium unleaded for my car and whatever. Yeah, I'll definitely be going between Shell and Chevron. But my favorite between the two would be Chevron. You know why? Because Chevron has Tecron. That's right. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we. Oh, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Did you just find something there, buddy? Anything there? Oh, there we go. Found some ash. Nice. Very good. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Oh, what is it here? Ah, this is where Strongheart is. This where be a Strongheart. Hello, tribe. I'm back in business after that terrible experience in the bug muck. Thanks to you, I'm not a big bug's dinner. Please take this cure formula. It will cure you from poison and other ills. The formula requires two parts root and one part oil. All right, let's go activate it. Cure activate. Did you purchase ingredients? Oh, sure. Let's go get some ingredients here. Wax and oil. Wax and oil. Yeah, we got we got a bunch of wax and not enough oil. We can also get some roots. Get some oil. Uh, another oil. So what is it? Two... Two parts wax, two... No, two parts oil, one part wax for flash. 
Yeah, and we used a whole bunch, so that's why I see that. I think I, we had more wax before. Anyway, um... What else should we buy here while we're here? Oh man, they're selling waters um, for 30, and I, and I swear the last... Um, the last place we went, uh, who the last person we 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 uh, encountered that sold waters, sold them for like like it was like, like what five for twenty or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's get some more oils and one more. Okay, so we have a total of what? This is what, 16 flashes? Is it 16 flashes? I think we have 16 flashes. No, not right now. First open these guys up. Okay, and now... Now let's save. Gameplay saved! Now we're gonna do an emulator save. Function, shift, F1. Okay, now let's go check our alchemy and see what we have. Okay, we have 17 flashes, 10 hard balls, 11 acid rains, and 5 cures. Okay, and then we see that we're just 10 flashes away from going to, what, level 1 flash? Just 10 flashes away there. Okay. Okay, so this reminds me of, because uh, we just, I think we're, we're right around the point where we stopped last night. So, so it's good that we have a good hour still left here. So this is what we were planning to do starting today. If the scenario played out in that we could be able to continue our, our say, a gameplay file. So we were to spend a good amount of time at the beginning of the stream grinding spells that's what we were intended to do we were going to be working on flash get flash up to uh i don't know what level level two or something level three whatever it is some higher level where where we can see some good numbers um whatever that would be 200 at least or something so I think we're we're slowly approaching there I think we're slowly getting to we're about to get to where we just last left off so um, I think there was uh, I think we learned defend from somebody yeah I think we still have yet to, to find someone to uh, teach defend teach us defend so okay All right, let's go ahead back to the village. Hey, dude. Dog attack now level two? <laughs> okay, that was new. That's a new one for me. Dog attack? Should be called the Ragnarok attack. That was the Ragnarok attack. Oh, now go to his attack, Thomas? Okay. Oh, he has level 2 now. He has level 2. The bar thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this means when he when when he is in fight mode or 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 wherever he decides to fight, he'll only he'll only attack once he charges up to level two. I think, or maybe his attacks will vary. It'll be either either a one charge or a two charge, or it could be a no charge. I, I think it's not always going to be exactly at the number that you set. I think, I think that's just the upper limit to where you'd see attacks done or something. Oh, he'll charge to two always? Okay, I'd like to see this. I'd like to see this. I mean, maybe this is actually better overall. I mean, you never know. Just gotta find out. Just gotta, just gotta play around with the formula here. 
I mean, we have one whole month. We have one whole month of this wonderful game here. Hey, did you sniff something there, buddy? Good. And see him slaughter a, a freaking... Freaking flower. Dang! Ah, oh, he missed! And he misses, yeah, then we have to wait until he charges back up again. Darn. <laughs> Alright, um, so yeah, we're gonna go back to the village. Let's go back up to the village here. Okay. Um, did we need to sell anything? Yeah, we have to go over to the, to the equipment hut nearby and then um there's one uh, place we went to where there's a whole bunch of gourds we need to go back there again because we're gonna find ourselves yet another uh alchemy teacher or whatnot um i think he he'll have something for us there there's something that we have for you there yeah that's right we unequipped the grass set, so we're gonna get some um, some talents back. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Okay, let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. You saved Strongheart in the bug muck. Well done. Nice save. I can help you defend yourself in future battles with an old recipe. This is an alchemy formula of defend. Use it with one part clay and one part ash to increase your defensive abilities. Yay. Yeah, this is where we last left off. Yeah, we had we had five here. And I remember I, I posed a question about whether or not are we literally halfway through like all of the possible alchemy that we learn because we just played like what about a good three hours of gameplay roughly three hours and we learned like half of the alchemy stuff does that seem a bit a bit odd i mean I, I, unless we learn follow-up like alchemy spells that would overwrite our current spells here maybe we'll have a, a better version of defend called called protect or something like that or maybe a better version of hardball uh called i don't know um dark matter or something right i mean i don't know or like a better a better version of acid rain called uh called meteor strike or something you know what i mean so who knows who knows can we buy something from you uh, I guess not. Good luck, young warrior. Good luck, young warrior. Okay. Okay, so we got to defend, and, uh, and then from here, we're gonna go to the north. Okay, so before we do that, let us go and save where our save place is. I have to go this way and we can definitely afford a, afford, afford a good night's sleep here. So we can play the, pay the 10 talons here. Enjoy a, a good night's sleep here. <laughs> I like, like how Ragnarok's uh, meter powers on. That's just so awesome. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> I guess it just does that automatically when he's idle. Yes. Game save. Alright, now we're going to do an emulator save. Function shift F1. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. So yeah, we reached a three hour session mark here, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying Secret of Evermore. Enjoying it on emulator because our uh, cart has failed us, failed to save, 
cannot save. So I put a sticky note here saying something about how it failed to save. And we are going to uh, enjoy the game via emulator here. And so far, so good. So far, so good. I think the sound, the sound is emulated almost perfectly. I'd say roughly perfect. It's acceptable. Unless you know otherwise, but I'd say I'd say this is a good choice of emulator here that we use. I mean, I would have went to ZSNES, but it's an older version. Who knows? I mean, it's 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 here and there, and for in some games, but I like this one here. This is a good this is a good emulator here. We're using SNES 9X, by the way, version 1.60. Bahamut redeems H2O and Stretch. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take care of those two in that particular order. Okay. All right. So if you're like me, you know, you, you guys, you know, work hard and, and do a, a, a genuine job uh, where you could be proud of and whoever else that you work for is, is proud of, you know, and like, and like for us, like we, or I, I would say I, not you guys, you because you guys are perfect and stellar, but I screwed up because I didn't even bother, bother to even check if the freaking cartridge saves can work. And so we're redoing part one that we did yesterday. But that's okay. That's okay. Keep in mind, guys, because of our, our ingenuity and our hard work, it's all great, but keep in mind, we got to stay hydrated. And I have Essentia this time. I don't have that other water. I need to, I need to go grab more of that water, but Essentia is a really nice, uh, a really nice go-to uh, alternative. Essentia is really, really good. Anyway, water guys, keep yourselves hydrated, you hardworking folk. And cheers. You know, to be honest, guys, I think this water tastes better than that other one I was drinking, the pure one. I think Essentia definitely wins. This is definitely a much better tasting water there. Okay, and so Bahamut also redeemed Stretch. So it's a good time to just sit back and stretch all the way up to the skies. Take a deep breath, close our eyes for a little bit, and open them up, and relax, and we relax, and we continue the stretching, and, well, you know, despite the, the rough beginning, you, you know, this, this reminds me of uh, a little bit of of our Yoshi's Island gameplay that we had for Mario March. Remember when we like made it all the way up to like, what was it? We made it all, all the way up to world six, the last world in, in Yoshi's Island. And all of a sudden the, the, the cart like starts like showing all these corrupt graphics and lo and behold our gameplay save through like weeks, many streams, all that progress was lost. Oh my goodness. But you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I, I'm I, at least this is one of the, this is one of the worst case scenarios that happened here that I'm fine with because the gameplay failure or the game save failure happened really early on. So instead of like three weeks worth of gameplay that was lost, we only got one stream. One stream of gameplay. Or, how do I say this right? Uh, Three-ish hours worth of gameplay that we had to redo. And that's it. So then starting tomorrow, <laughs> 
uh, unless something uh, unless something within the, the 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 mechanics of the of the emulator itself will, will somehow render its save states or its virtual uh, uh, battery save system to be uh, to be wonky or broken. I mean, it should. I don't think this will happen, but <laughs> I mean, in case that happens, then hey, we're gonna be back here at square one tomorrow. But I don't think we will. I think we're gonna be all good. <laughs> I think we'll be all good. And if you if you guys remember, I did make up the Yoshi's Island uh, uh, gameplay. I did. So like right after, sometime I think it was in in late April, I believe. We did a random retro Saturday where we started off with uh, World 6 of Yoshi's Island but on a different cart. I actually purchased another cart. I own two carts of Yoshi's Island. I still have the one with the with the fail with, with the corrupt graphics and maybe the battery or the the battery got fried or um, or the or, or the capacitor is leaked or whatever, and just screwed up the the, the board. And then I also have this new one uh, where the where the battery and everything worked fine, and we're able to see Yoshi's Island till the end. You're okay with Sim a Secret of Emma for the rest of the year, Thomas? <laughs> hey, but Thomas, aren't you also looking forward to Super Metroid? Because we're going to be playing that in, in the beginning of November. First half of November is going to be uh, Super Metroid. It's going to be Super Metroid for the first half of November and Link to the Past for the last half of November. Now, Thomas, I know you're on board with it. Unless you change your mind. Unless you all of a sudden completely despise Super Metroid for some reason, which which I'm sure you, you, you are not. I'm sure you're going to be looking forward to that. Do I watch streams, Thomas? Um, um, hardly nowadays. Like b before, I start like like around the beginning, like when I started streaming. I could say in 2022 or whatever. That's when I like sort of transitioned from being a nor like a regular stream watcher uh, to just to just focusing on on on, on being a streamer. So, uh, no, not, not really. Maybe here and there, but it's, but it's more like niche stuff. But no. N not nowadays, Thomas. You, you can stream Super Metroid in October so you can see it. T what? <laughs> okay, I mean, I mean... Yeah, 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 but Thomas, I mean, I mean, I, I, I have, I have a, a half of a month allocated for for Super Metroid. I have to stretch it out somehow. It can't be two hours, man. It can't be two hours. I mean, sure. I mean, I, I can watch you play it, and and you'd be like, I'll be like, yeah, you're. You, you, you're, you are a supreme. Super Metroid player, but man, it'll take you two hours. Well, I don't know. I I, I may watch you play it for two hours, and I, I I may get good enough to beat Super Metroid in probably three days. <laughs> well, that's what's gonna happen after I watch your stream, Thomas. Yeah, I think I think for me, like, it, like I, I'm gonna approach it like, like I mean, like the last time I played it was like I don't know how long. Well, when did I last play Super Metroid? I think it was sometime around like the the late 2010s. So I'd say maybe between five and seven years ago is when I last uh, played Super Metroid. You last played it in March. Oh, nice. That's quite recent. That is quite recent. You play at least once a year. Oh, nice, Thomas. Nice. I used to be that way with Symphony of the Night. Yeah, I remember. Um, I remember that it used to be like an annual thing. That's cool, Thomas. That is really, really cool. 
That means you 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 really thoroughly enjoy the game. You love the game. Oh yeah, doggo is itching. Yeah 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 yeah. Hey, get over here. Hey, rag. There you go. I, I, I like I like I like Ragnarok being a dog here. It's just it's just so cool. He needs a flea pill. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. He does. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing his transformation there. I mean, I think we I think we did observe his first, but it wasn't via like normal gameplay. It was just via the the initial story. Like he he was once like looking like what would be considered a quote unquote normal dog, and and now now he looks like a freaking beast. He looks like an altered beast. Okay. Um, did I finish stretching? I don't know if I finished stretching. I just go do one more. Oh, okay, I felt something crack in my back and I felt good. I don't know if you guys heard it. You, pr you guys probably didn't hear it, but but trust me. Like, I, I, I felt and heard a crack in my back and it felt pretty dang good. <sighs> Stretch out my uh, fingers like this. And there we are. Okay, cool. Bahamut, thank you for the back-to-back -back redeems there of H2O and Stretch. I very much appreciate them, Bahamut. Very much so. Okay. Now back to the game here. Okay. What are we gonna do next here? We will we just learned defend. And now we are going to go north. We did save. I believe we did save. Yes, we did save. And now we're going to make our way northbound. We got that gourd there. And now we're going to go up here. Hey, hey. Oh, these are the. This is like a, a a different breed of 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 stupid flower. Different breed of stupid flower. Oh man, doggo's killing him. Hey, 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 dude. Dude. Oh, wasn't there a wasn't there a gourd down here or something? I thought there was a gourd down here or something. Yeah, there we go. There's a gourd here. I remember that. Cool. I found a petal. Nice. Doggy, did you find something? Find something there? There we go. Good doggy. Good doggy. Hey, oh. There you go. Good doggy. Good doggy. Good doggy. Okay. Let's go slay these dumb flowers. Slay them, I say. Slay them, I say. Okay, Rags. You find something here for me, Rags? You sniff something? Found something? Cool. Good boy! Good boy! Such a good boy. Okay, so there's a there's a thing blocking our way here. Which is all good. Oh, you found something there? Did you find something there, boy? There we go. Okay, good. Okay. Found something here? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, stupid mosquito. Alright. 
Gord! I got a nectar. Man, those things. Those things are evil. There we go, okay. Now remember, this is the last place we went at our um at our stream yesterday. So yeah, we're we're about on actually we're we're on we're on we're on the same pace actually, to be honest with you. Even though we we um uh we button mashed our way through a, a good amount of of dialogue, but I think we're back to we're we're around the same um we're about where, where we're at here. I think we we spent we like wasted 15-ish minutes or so, or 20 minutes, because we died to Thrax the first time around. But the second time around, we did get him. But here, we we destroyed Thrax the first time. Buy and sell the finest, finest armor in the area. Um, yeah, let's go see what we can afford here. Remember, you can switch to the dog. So if you get put into a flower, you can switch to the dog and attack it to set you free. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that, that, that's a that's a good uh, that's a, that's a good thing you mentioned that Thomas. I mean, um, I I should remember that next time. I didn't expect that flower to do that. That's why I mean, like I, we I've seen it before, but I forgot. But yeah, when that flower does that, yeah, or or I can just wait until Doggo does it. But I think if I switch to Doggo. I think I can be able to free, I can be able to free tribe out of there faster. Yeah, maybe it's faster to switch. Yeah, you're probably right, Thomas. I think what you're saying is actually faster. Okay, so it looks like we have two of the three items already on uh, tribe. Got the mammoth guard and the shell hat, and let's go get the shell plate here. There we go. Shell plate obtained. Uh, let's go. Uh, whoops. Uh, let's go equip. Yay, alright. Let's go sell whatever we had here. Whatever we had on. Yeah, grass vest. Okay. Cool. Wax and wax. Wax and wax. Okay. Okay. Good advice there, Thomas. I'd say that's that's really really good advice. Whoop. Yeah, you gotta fight stupid flower now. There we are. And oh, we gotta slash through all these now. The lush grass grew so fast. Okay. Let's go pause here for a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the volcano entrance. Okay. Go back to the volcano entrance. Hey. Freaking heck. Anyway, where is this gonna take us? To the Bone Lands! Uh, we are in the Bone Lands. This ominous sounding Bone Lands. Okay. 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 Uh oh. Doggy is poisoned. No, doggy is poisoned. No. Doggy is poisoned. Why can they drop something? 
Wait, actually, we have to use Essence on Doggy. Where is Essence? There's Essence. Use Essence on Doggy. Oh, actually, you know what? Forget it. We have a Dog Biscuit. Yeah, we can just use a Dog Biscuit on him. Well... Oh nice, poison's worn off again, okay, so it's not like a it's not like totally persistent or something. Hey. There we go. Did you find something here, Taki? Did you find something here, Rags? What'd you find? What'd you find? There you go. Good doggy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Oh, good boy. That is such a good boy. Such a good boy. Find something there, doggy? Good boy. Good boy. Spiders are a-holes? <laughs> yeah, so I've heard here. Yeah, I mean, the guy uh, talking about the section is saying, yeah, the spiders can, can that, that poison can be a real pain to deal with. You know, it's like we have a boss fight here. You trespass in our bone land. Prepare to join the mammoths. Uh, okay, is that a threat? Is that a threat? Are you are you are you trying to threaten us? Are you trying to threaten us? Huh? Is that what you're doing? Nice. Flash is now level one. Just attack all of them. Cool. Cool. Do we destroy any of them? We're getting there. Uh oh. Hey, let me mess in with my doggo. You gotta heal up doggo here. Also need to heal up tribe. Let's give him a let's give him a nectar. Okay, let's go for another flash here. All right, cool. Got one more dude, okay. Oh, Viper Commander now, okay. <laughs> Viper Commander, I see. Alright, keep at it. And good boy. Good boy as well. Let's actually have, uh, I've got to set him to fight here. Go. Keep on at it. Attacking them, doggy. And we did it. We got the horn spear. We got a spear. Awesome. So this, 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 uh, all this entire stream here. We got one of each type of weapon. Awesome. So we didn't have to wait long until we got the spear. 
I didn't think that we'd get the spear uh, tonight, and we did. All right, yay us. I wonder if this gate leads to the volcano. Thank you for fighting off those vicious vipers. They treat the sacred mammoth graveyard as if it were only a source of bones and tusks. Those guys were vipers? Yes, lizard people from the great volcano. They've been coming out in force lately, raiding the graveyard for mammoth parts. When we get to the core of the volcano, we'll stop them before they do more harm. Why are you going there? It's very dangerous. Well, Fire Eyes told us about the volcano cooling in. Fire Eyes? Fire Eyes! Say no more! If you're a friend of Fire Eyes, then I know that I can trust you. There you go. <laughs> I like that. You may find the means to enter the Viper's Domain at the top of the volcano to the north. I'll let you through the gate. Should I heal your wounds? Yeah, please. If you need to be healed later, you can use my heal formula. All you need is one part water and one part root in order to activate the spell. Yo, we got heal. Yay, we got heal. All righties. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Okay. So. This guy definitely uses a spear differently than um, anyone from Secret of Mana. I think Secret of Mana, there the, the attack was more like, wasn't it just like a thrust? More like a thrust-like attack? Anyway, I'm, I could be wrong, actually. Yeah, I could be totally wrong there. Okay, so... Let's head up the volcano up here. Oh, you, did you sniff, sniff something here, Rags? What you got? What you got here? Parts ash. Oh, nice. Good, good boy. Anything here, boy? Anything here, boy? Three parts clay. Okay. Anything else here, there, buddy? Anything else here? Anything else here? Anything else here? Get over here, buddy. Sniff anything here? Anything here, buddy? Oh. Found something. There we go. <laughs> All right. It is I, I think it, I'm so used to usually like finding something in a crevice or somewhere like near a, in, like an impassable tile or you know some. Oh, you found something else there, boy. What, what else did you find? What else did you find? Why can't I find it? Why can't I find what you're sniffing there, boy? What are you... What did you find? Ah, what did you find? <laughs> what did you find? Oh, there we go. Finally. <laughs> Finally. All right. Now let's go. Now let's go. We're ready now. Oh, those dumb raptors. Hey, don't be doing that to my... Don't be doing that to my doggo. You, you, you raptors. Hey, it's not cool. It's not cool. Okay, let's stop here for a little bit here. Let's go check. Uh, head up. Then left. Okay. 
So head up and left. Oh, we can actually use the spear to slash stuff. Darn. Okay. Oh. Actually, before we go here... Hey, boy. Do you sniff something here? Actually, it's, uh... Hey, hey, hey. It's not cool. You, you freaking raptor. Get over here. There we go. You get over here, boy. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here, buddy. Anyway, let's go up here. Yeah, this guy's gonna help us uh, heal up here. Looking for a rest and look no further. I can stay for 30 talons? Um, okay. Sure. Sure thing. Sure thing. Yeah, let's go save our progress here. Cool! Alright. And I'm gonna also do an emulator save, so... Function, Shift, and F. What? Open up the gourds, grab a water, and a water. Okay. Okay, um... I wonder what we can do here. Um, how are we with our, with our alchemy here? How many of each can we do? Okay, so we have absolutely no more flashes, which is kind of bad. Like 20, no more than 20 more flashes and we'll uh, get to flash level 2, I guess, or something. Uh, and then... 23 defends, 14 heals, and all that. Okay. So, so here's... So for anyone else... I'm not sure if Vince is here, but yeah, um... They mentioned yesterday that uh, working on Flash is the way to go here. But what do you got? What else do you guys think? Um, because it, it's gonna be quite a quite a side quest like like it'll take a while to level up every single spell because uh, the way spells work here is not exactly how the spells work in secret of mana um, do you guys agree that working on flash leveling up flash as much as we can like should that be our 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 like main focus right now like at the early parts of the game um, before we get uh, other spells later because yeah for now we're gonna be going with uh, we're getting flash uh, up at, at a very uh, a very good level it, it seems like uh, uh, the, the the first couple of bosses that we've uh, fought so far in the game have uh, been uh, taking damage from Flash really well. So I feel like Flash would be the way to go. But unless anyone else has any better ideas or any other spells to work on, yeah, please, please share your opinion, share your, uh, share your take. But... Heal would be another one, Thomas. I think that's yeah. Okay, I, I I agree with you. So 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 really, if we boil it down, um, definitely would want to have a a surefire way to restore uh, an, another another way to restore health besides petal and nectar, and uh, for for doggo as well. Anything else? Is cure worth it to remove status ailments? Because status status ailments ha happen to just disappear after a while. They're not like persistent. It's not like our, our our Ragnarok got poisoned, but he didn't like, you know, you know, 
the, the poison didn't take, didn't deplete all of his health. Okay. Okay. So flash and heal. Flash and heal. Okay. There is a spell, a spell later that's a must to level up. Okay, cool. All right, sounds good, Thomas. Yeah, Thomas. Yeah, I, I, I you know, like this guy. See, this is this is a kind of like hints that I am like totally okay with, like something something to look forward to. You know, like like that is totally cool. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if anything else, yeah, please, yeah, feel free to 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 share any hints as uh, as uh, gameplay as you see how gameplay uh, progresses right here so okay so yeah we already saved and we're all good and now we're going to let's see we can have an how let's see we have like another 20 minutes i think we can make some good pro some good progress here um Yeah, I think we should be all good here. I think we should still be good here. Okay. I don't know uh, when will be the next time that we can be able to save, but I think... If we ever need to save, we can just come back here then. Okay. Oh, Bahamut, you're going? Okay, sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Bahamut, thank you so much for uh, being here and enjoying Secret of Evermore again. As we re we've replayed, basically redone the 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 entire gameplay uh, session yesterday, and um, we're going to continue on normally going forward. At least that is the plan. Bahamut, have a good night, and hope to see you again. If you see you tomorrow, that'll be awesome. But I definitely look forward to seeing you again, Bahamut. Bahamut, take care, and have a good night. Okay. We saved. And now let's move on. Hey, these darn raptors. Darn raptors! Heck yeah, that's right. That's what I gotta do. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Poop. What's up there, buddy? What's up there? What you, what you found there, buddy? Found a water. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hey. You stupid raptors. Hey. There we are. Did you find something there, boy? No, you didn't. Okay. All right. Stupid flower. You beat the flower. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Hey, 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 hey. That's right. Man, our boy is powerful. Hey, hey, hey! Freaking freak! There we are. There we are. There we are. Okay. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay. There we are. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's just pause here. So, uh, there's gonna be a cave. Okay, there's gonna be a cave, and we're gonna be fighting. Ugh. Excuse me. We're gonna be fighting raptors. Um, let's go ahead and use uh, heal. Let's use heal. Oh, we can do multiple heal. Yay. Another heal. Cool. All right, let's go in and let's go take care of these guys here. That's right. 
that's right. That's right. All right. We got a dino skin. What is a dino skin? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Or maybe I did. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's, um, let's equip. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, definitely. Let's equip this thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got we got some really nice armor there. Alright, this is really cool. Got some really nice armor there. Okay, now so go come out the cave. Oh, oh, did you find something there, boy? Did you find something there? What'd you find? What'd you find? What'd you find? What'd you find? Oh, nothing. Oh, no, nothing. Okay, that's fine. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I got another one of them. You got another one of them. Hey, get over here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, got some water. All oh, those, those, uh, spiders. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, whoa. Whoa, I did not expect that. Did you find something here, boy? Found some roots. Okay, let's go ahead and just uh, pause here for a bit. Uh, let's look at what... Well, we should be looking for right here at this moment, right here. First stream jet, grab the roots. Okay, and we should just uh, steadily climb our way up. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. And one more. Nice. What's here? Oh, that takes us up here, and then that takes us back there. You know, I don't want to do that. Uh, how do we make it to the right over here? We can't jump over there now, can we? Oh, darn. No, I didn't want to do that. Go this way. Uh, oh, I see a thing there. Yeah. Okay. So this is like a this is like a legit like puzzle here. This is like a legit puzzle here. So we're gonna go this way and uh, ah, there we go. Found the pedal. We found a pato. Okay. Okay, now let's go avoid that pedal there. Or avoid that steam jet. Take this one up here and... Oh no! There we go. All right, cool. Way to go, Ragnarok. Now, uh, since we're poisoned, we can go use an essence to cure our poison. And then we can go ahead and use heal on ourselves. Mm -hmm. 
And we can go do a heal amongst everyone here. And then we can use Cure on Ragnarok. Cure their poison. Poison has worn off. Yeah, what you, what you got there here? Found some water. All right. Okay, now I head down through the cave and through to the bottom. Okay. Okay. And cut away some undergrowth to reveal a second one. Got some water right here. Cool. Where is this undergrowth they're talking about here? Where is the undergrowth? Where exactly is the undergrowth? Where exactly are they talking about here? Where is this undergrowth? Where is this undergrowth here? That they are talking about. It's not up here, is it? Is, is that what it's talking about right here? That there's a... I see like a cave or something there at the side. Alright, so where... Okay, so it's telling us, after going up on this last jet, grab the water from the gourd, then head down through the cave to the bottom. Head down through the cave to the bottom. Okay. So that is gonna be up here. Head down through the cave to the bottom. Okay, this is where we got our, our water. If we head down through the cave, if we head down through the cave, Yeah, like so. Head down through the cave to the bottom. Bark! Don't understand what the, the guide is saying here. Like, there's like. I don't understand what it's saying. I don't understand what it's saying. Alright, so th here's what the guide is saying about what we're next to go. It says, now it might look like there's only one steam jet on the bottom. This is actually two. Cut away some undergrowth to reveal the second one and head up on it. Go to the, go to the right and grab some clay. Go to the left cave. I don't get what that is. Try going left, I mean, from where we're at right now. Oh, there we are. That's what it was, wasn't it? Interesting. Okay. Was that it? Thomas, that was it, wasn't it? Dang, man. <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't looking at the right place. All right. Thanks, Thomas, so much. Thank you. Thank you. GG's to you, Thomas, for the, for the awesome advice here for your patience with me here. You're patient with me here. That's just so freaking cool. Okay, so then next... So then next... We go into the left cave. To fight, fight a, a, a stupid spider. There we go. Spiders no more. 
Spider is no mo. No mo. There you go. The heck? What the heck? What the heck? Hmm. Hmm. Another fine blend. Nice nose. Good color. What are they brewing there? You're, you're brewing some kind of... Brewing some kind of beverage? Uh, hi. You wouldn't know how to get into the volcano from here, would you? The volcano? No. None but the way that would turn an adventure into ash and molten bones. Pardon me? The only way that I know to enter the volcano is straight into the crater. Of course, come to think of it, you could try the catacombs at the base of the volcano. I've seen a passage, but it's blocked by a big rock. Levitation! That's a good solution. You can find you can lift rocks and other heavy objects by using the levitate formula. <sighs> levitate formula. I'll give it to you right now. Nice. So what is it? One part water and one part... What is it? Chili pepper? Chili pepper? Whatever the freaking heck that is. Red hot chili pepper? Oh, it's, it's a mud pepper. Okay. <laughs> the formula requires a mud pepper and water. Travel to the east from the base of the volcano. You'll find mud peppers in the swamp. Would you like to purchase ingredients? Sure, let's go take a look at what you got. You sell mud peppers or whatever? No. We do have 2,217 talents though, so we can... Uh, we can shop a bit here. Um... Some more waxes here. Let's uh, buy some ashes. Buy some clays. Let's buy some more. There you go. Let's get at least 40 of everything here. Sure, at least 40 of everything. I don't know why, I just felt like it. <laughs> I just felt like it. And we can record our progress. Oh my gosh, and we're about to reach the four hour session mark. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's, let's go record our progress here. Save over this game, yes. Game has been saved. See ya later. Let's go ahead and also do an emulator save. So it'll be function. Shift and F1. There we go. There we go. All right. So we're going to be approaching the four hour session mark in a couple of minutes. I'll give you guys a couple of minutes for any last minute uh, stuff you want to talk about. Um, if you have any questions or um, any opinions about what you've seen? I mean, is a gameplay. As far as gameplay wise or anything, and I think I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to I feel like I need to cent center the text here a bit. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. I had to cut the music there, but yeah, I saw I saw the, the, the text box there and the stuff there, and I thought, okay, maybe we should center it a little bit. Okay, so this is take two of, of essentially what we've, uh, our gameplay of yesterday, and we did a little bit more. We did a little bit more. So I'm proud of what has transpired here, and we're going to continue on playing Secret of Evermore, just like we what we have been doing right here, which is on emulator. Emulator we're using here is SNES 9X version 1.60, and also another thing, uh, as I mentioned earlier today, and I think I mentioned it uh, was one other time, and I'll be doing this uh, here and there. Uh, for the next couple of streams here this week. And that is I've started uploading VODs. So, uh, and also I'm keeping track of 
the 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 actual stream number because we've already streamed more than 500 streams already on this channel woohoo 500 plus we are 500 plus strong and we are we are a community here there you go and, and on all that 500 would not have happened without you guys but be that as it may, the 500 means that um, once you see the VOD upload on the YouTube channel, you're gonna see um, you're gonna see a number. You're gonna see 572. This will be stream number 572, um, and uh, this will be the second VOD that was uploaded. Technically, there's already the very first stream, so I technically have. I technically have three VODs that will be up by uh, the end of tonight. After tonight's stream, I'll get the th the I'll get VOD uh, number 572. Um, but all in all, we have VODs 1, 571, and then this one right here, which is going to be 572. And I'm going to talk more about how uh, all of these uh, are going to be organized via the YouTube channel. Um, so for the current VODs, I'm going to have a uh, Twitch VOD playlist. It'll be called Twitch VODs on YouTube. And on the days where we don't stream and I hang out here at home, maybe play what, Tears, uh, Tears of the Kingdom or whatever else, maybe if I'll finally bust out my PS5 and start playing PS5 games. So while I do that, I'm also going to be uploading uh, the classic uh, VOD. So we're getting, so this is b basically the, 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 the first 570 that, uh, uh, that, uh, were never uploaded as VODs as of yet. But I, but I keep an archive of every single, uh, stream that we've done here. Um, including, uh, all the way back, all of the ones we did back in December and, uh, of 2021. And I have, I have all the streams from 2022, all the streams from 2023, and everything that we've done so far in the current year, which is 2024. So, so yeah. So I just want to ensure to let you let you guys know that uh, if you guys are uh, subscribed to the YouTube channel, that you're going to be getting um, much more frequent notifications that you're used to. <laughs> So yeah, um, and I'm gonna keep them uh, organized via playlists, so they're not uh, they're not in any they're not organized in any chaotic manner or anything like that. So just uh, letting you guys know. So I so I'm getting I, I get the understanding that there are some folks that don't like uh, watching a live stream. I, I don't think I've met anyone personally or just via chat that is like that. Of course, if they if they didn't like live streams, they wouldn't be here. But there are those people that actually prefer a pre-recorded video format, and I totally respect that. I mean, if that's if that is your thing, then enjoy it totally for sure. Because because really the, the main part of what I do here, even during a live stream, is to enjoy. A game through and through, or the best, or, or or within the given amount of time. That is, you know, it could be a a, a monthly game, or 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 a, or a set of games within the theme of a, of the month. You know, that where where we would play a game pretty much to the end, especially RPGs. And of course, those are lengthy games. And uh, we're definitely going to be seeing, like like for example, he's going to play the Secret of Evermore. We have the entire month of September. Um, like both Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday streams allocated uh, for uh, Secret of Evermore, and we will definitely. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna see this game through to the end. But then there's gonna be other games we play like on Thursdays or um, uh, some of the early, um, like really early uh, streams where uh, we would be playing games here and there, even just within within any stream just uh, at the time where i was uh, figuring out uh, the, the the format of the channel where right now it's 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 pretty much defined that we're a variety stream and um we we like to do something outside of the 
outside of the variety uh, stream um, uh, stuff every now and then, like like rarely, maybe not not, not every now and then, but more like more like uh, very uncommon. You know, like we, we may get into uh, a, a doing a, a, a doing maybe some speed runs of of, of, of a game that we haven't done uh, yet, or who knows? Who knows what we'll do? We may do something. We, we may do. Oh yeah, this is something that that we will do, but I, I just haven't, I haven't pinpointed, haven't uh, nailed down the the month we, we will try this. But I want to do a full month of uh, pink tail, uh, a pink tail grinding, mindless, repetitive pink tail grinds. <laughs> But I'm gonna tell you, even though it's gonna be mindless and repetitive, I'm gonna be having fun with you guys. We're gonna we're gonna have a lot of fun talking and just chilling and just 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 I I enjoying the the ridiculousness of the of, of of the of the pink puff encounters and how rare they are, and 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 even compound that with the with the ultra rare pink tail drops that can come from the already uncommonly rare or uncommon and rare uh, uh, pink puff encounters so yeah so 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 we'll do that here but oh, what am I trying to say here um, I forgot my train of thought here anyway um, so see so yeah, look for um, look for a VODs Look for VODs. Uh, more uh, VOD uploads will be on the norm. Um, some of you probably are, are also huge fans of the uh, of the OSTs, the video game OSTs. So uh, uh, I may squeeze in an OST here and there. I definitely will. If ever find a find a game that I'm interested in that I haven't done a, an OST on that I would love to uh, put up an OST about, then that will be done. But still, um, VODs are going to be the normal here. So yeah, so for those of you guys that uh, oh, wait, missed, this, uh, missed this stream here, you'll get a VOD of this stream very soon. Alright. Alright. Okay, so I didn't get any other requests or anything else. So I think we are done for the night. Guys, hope you enjoyed part one once again. <laughs> so this is the official part one. So tomorrow's stream will be a continuation of where we have left off right there. Right there. Who knows what's going to happen? I bet it's going to be awesome, and I hope to see you guys here for this. So until tomorrow, until next time, this is Ice Turbo signing off. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Stay safe out there. It's always great seeing you here. Thomas Bahamut, when you were here earlier. Captain Dark. Who else? Zard. Zard, you were here, and anyone else I'm forgetting? Jeff was here, yes. All you awesome people here, thank you so much for being here tonight, enjoying Secret of Evermore. We're gonna play more Secret of Evermore tomorrow, and hope to see you guys there. Take care, stay safe out there, and see you later. Bye-bye.